right. Hello and welcome back, everyone. Hello and welcome back. Good to see you again, dog. How's it going, Balinar? How are you doing, Dark? Uh, Dull Wolf. Not Dark Wolf. Dark Wolf hasn't popped around in a bit. The other wolf. I mean, it's actually just, just three dogs. We got two canines in chat right now. It's crazy, we had three. We have to find out who'd be letting all the dogs out. How's it going, Doc? How are you doing today? Good to see you again. Oh my goodness. It was coming with like some of the most adorable emotes. I like Balnor's. It's festive. Alright. Oh my goodness. Got a whole bunch of uh, crepuscular rays or sunbeams or god rays, whatever you want to call them. Blasting through the top here. Thank you, Kiri. Oh man, it is blinding out here. It's blinding out here. Okay, first things first. Before we even remember what we're supposed to be doing today, I want to go ahead and plant more razor grain. I want to plant more razor grain. How much razor grain can we get on one patch? Can we get four? Oh my goodness! Can we really only get two? can we really only get two per patch? That's a little disappointing. Guess we'll offset them. We'll do we'll do one and the other. Oh, that's gonna look real weird. Wait, can we get another one? Like in Oh. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. We can actually get a couple in here. But we can get we can absolutely get four on one. Alright, hold on. Just gotta move them over more. Because we can get a bunch of these going. Because we have a handful of people that just don't have jobs right now. And it'd be nice to have more razor grains so we can make more noodles. Noodles are always good to have on hand. We like having noodles. Well, I can't quite get that one. That's okay. Now it looks a little weird, but... There we go. Got more of them. Try spinning. It's a cool trick. I feel pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, and I might need to spin some of them. But we'll leave it as is for now. That's fine. It's good enough. It's good enough. Good enough. We just want a little more... Close your door, man. Uh, we just want a little more razor grain coming in. Alright, so we need to go figure out what our objectives were. Oh yeah, it was either meet with Deacon in Old North, or was there anything else for us to do with Kiri, or did we finish that? For the ceramic from Milton, General Hospital, we didn't even grab that ceramic, it's true. I think we did everything for Kiri, right? Kiri's quest is more or less done, except for flirting with her. I think it was. Or is most wanted? Oh yeah, we need to track down Dog. We need to go and try and get the half that didn't work. Unfortunate. So we can go and... Uh, only thing left for Kiri is just getting her to like you. Okay. So we can go and swap to someone else for a bit. Um, we can definitely go do that. Uh, if you hold left click, uh, you can spin the object, which sometimes glitches it into place. Yeah, I I've played around with like reorienting things, but I haven't really tried too hard with the Razor Crane. There's still six we can slap down. We can get more in these. Oh, hang on. They're on to something. Chat's on to something. We just kind of like... We go... Oh. We do just wiggle it around until it fits. We just wiggle it around until it fits? Yes, the answer is actually yes. Grab. Let me see if I can scoot you over a little more. Grab you and see if I can scoot you over a little more. Grab you. Can I pull you back a bit? There we go. Can I get one more razor grain in here? Pull us a little closer. We can. A little more up close and personal here. We're trying to get this razor green fit. Oh, that's not what I want. Back. Come on, bring it in. Oh. Oh my goodness, you guys are really on top of it. Look at that. Bam. These razor green fields are starting to fit. To Ada, are you working on the razor green? <laughs> Is that she using those big meaty hands of hers to go and pick razor green? 
I mean, let's be honest. The Razor Green is not going to not going to run away from her. She's got huge gun hands. I don't know if we're going to be able to get these ones on here. Space them out a little more. This one seems to be where they really just don't want to cooperate. I don't know about this one. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. That's true. How's it going, Betamail? How are you doing today? How's it going, Nick Mart? <laughs> Wiggle it around until it fits. Zelda 2022. It's true. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, you just gotta, you just gotta jimmy it a little. It's fine. Yeah, it's, don't worry about it. Oh, okay. There's so much ground to cover in the Commonwealth. That's fine. Go good enough. We're good. He's learned the power of spin. Yes. A very powerful spell. It makes people dizzy, um, but also lets you fit in tight spaces, apparently. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and sleep two hours to make sure we don't have to do that again. But bam Also gets us to noon, and hopefully this fog will go away. Good gracious. Oh, the fog's gone. Jerry, look, it's a beautiful day. Excellent. We need to get her some better armor first before we head up and out, if we're going to keep her with us. Otherwise, we can go and grab... Um, what was it Codsworth we were going to go grab next? I think it was. I think that was the plan. Remember, we'll keep sending you refugees uh, not rated for sub-zero in the middle of winter hitting negative 30. Oh my goodness, Dalkin, jeez. <laughs> so they're just instantly freezing. Holy moly. That's, that's no good. Uh, also started to work on your uh, Pathfinder character for the upcoming game. Awesome. You have a general backstory, but uh, you're not decided on what they are. Uh, you don't want to just settle on human like you usually do. But human's really good, though. This is the, re the reason why I to pick human is because human's actually really good. I don't have a... We're out of whiskey. We need more whiskey. Captain Zog, you got it. We'll get Captain Zog on. How's it going, Magic Spud? How are you doing today? Uh, you say Consworth? I suggested Deacon later. Oh, that's right. Probably do Deacon too. Once it becomes clear, uh, you'll be a companion. Yeah, yeah. Your favorite companion is Piper. Uh, have we done anything with her yet? No, not yet. We haven't done anything with Piper. We also need to do more with Nick. We need to do more with Nick as well. Humans are just uh, so very versatile, but their ancestry feats in second edition are kind of boring. Well, that's kind of boring. I mean, one of the things I really liked about um, the human ones for ancestry in first edition Pathfinder is you just give yourself the ancestry of, like, elf or dwarf, so you just have, or orc, so you have their specific weapon types available. So if you pick, like, orc, you get falchions uh, fully trained without needing specialist training, or you get a dwarven long hammer, so you have a cool reach weapon, you know, without needing anything else. Uh, you vote Kodzi. Kodzi works pretty good. Turn him into a sentry bot. Oh, there you go, yeah. You're thinking messing around with rat folk? There you go. Rat folk's pretty cool. I was looking at, um... I was looking at, like, the, the frog people for, like, the next character, because they're, like, two feet tall. <laughs> they're, like, so tiny. Uh, I don't need those anymore, which is great. I don't need refreshing drinks, and I only have enough for one stim pack, so we'll wait on that. We're not doing uh, caltrops anymore, because those apparently are more trouble than they're worth, honestly. All right, uh, let's go ahead and let's grab her some armor, or I think I'm going to leave her here. We've given her... Wow, but we've given her the congealer. Go and throw at people. We should at least take her into combat once. All right, let's go do uh, the next thing for the railroad. Let's do the next railroad quest. Um, and let's go meet up with Deacon. And then, once we do this next railroad quest, then we'll go ahead and look... What's this doing here? No, don't, don't step on that, it's gross. Um... Okay. Uh, once we do the railroad quests, uh, once we get this one done, then we'll look at doing another. Uh, maybe with a different companion. Let's uh, grab a ride. Nice. We got, still got six spare. Got plenty to go. Get that vertebrate over here. Let's get up and go. Oh my goodness. Is that is that a, a fully written out dirty robot in chat? Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. At least it's a full write-up on things. Let's see. 
I'm always interested. Channel was created back in September 6th? Oh, okay, all right. Huh. Well, there you go. So maybe that's actually, like, a real one. Uh, how's it going, Sorrow? Oh my goodness, long time to see. How have you been? Are you Minutemen? Because there is another settlement in need of assistance. Uh, no, we kind of let them figure it out on their own, I'll be honest. Uh, if they, if they can't survive on their own, they aren't worth being part of the, part of the Minutemen. Not part of my commonwealth. I mean, granted, we put down a absolute host of turrets, so they should be fine. Usually. You've been sleeping? Nice. Very nice. Hopefully you've been getting plenty of sleep. Board the Vertibird. Boarding. Alright. Boarded. Let's bring ourselves all the way over. I don't want to land exactly on it, to be honest. So, can we go over to the Cabot House? And then we'll walk from there. I don't want to land directly on location. Yeah, the reason for that is I don't want to accidentally like, start dialogue or anything All while we're slowly landing. Go. Yeah. Good shooting, Knight. <laughs> Good shooting, Tix. I'm not going to shoot anything, most likely. There's no point shooting anything, because if I shoot it, I can't loot it. It's a waste of effort. It's a waste of effort for sure. Um, a similar bot appeared uh, around the time we were visiting the USS Constitution for the second time. Oh, I think you might have been right on that, yeah. Weird. Weird, weird. Uh, don't forget if you talk to Curie uh, every so often to give her... Uh, every so often she gives you stim packs, really? Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, we'll be sure to chat with her from time to time. We need to chat with her from time to time anyway, just to make sure she's liking us. You know? Gotta make sure we do that. Um, Dalko, what's having you... What's what's pulling you over to looking at rat folk uh, versus other... Uh, other options for Pathfinder versus like uh, half orc or halfling or some of the other ones. Lizard folk. I, mean, I am a fan of lizard folk. I'll be honest. The guys are pretty sick. Pretty cool. Uh, we do have a captain's lock for Balinor though. So uh, once we land and we don't have the sound of this loud vertebrate here in our ears, we'll go ahead and do a captain's log. Just says a little, yeah, it's not, not quite so loud in my ears. Uh, you're just playing Fallout Gary's Mod? Wait, that's a thing? Oh my gosh, I haven't heard anything about Gary's Mod in an age to the point. <laughs> How's it going, Falcon? Good to see you again. Welcome back. Oh my goodness, we're gonna hit this wall? Jeez, man. Prepare for landing. Close. Touchdown could be a little rough. Hit. Coming in hot. Almost hit that wall. Gary, what do you see? We see Gary. Oh, completely separate vertebrate is currently under attack. I don't know if we want to get involved, Gary. Science Center gift shop. I don't think we've been there. I can't get through that wa uh, window. Look at her go! What are these guys? A legendary raider? Well, say no more. Wow, she can't hit the broadside of a bar. No. No. Oh man, I saw people fall from the sky out of this thing dead, so I thought it was gonna land and explode. Got very concerned very quickly there. Kiri, honestly, I'm more nervous about this vertebrate than the enemies we're dealing with. Trash can. I kind of want to get whatever that uh, legendary guy has. Oh, she goes through the ammo. She actually uses the ammo. Look at that. She actually used the ammo, and now she's onto her default weapon. Huh? Are you a member of Brotherhood of Steel? Yeah, we're a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. Ah, it's an empty whiskey bottle. Very disappointed. Oh, I am very glad I moved. <laughs> that could have been really bad. That could have been real bad. Darn vertebrates always trying to hit me. Oh, 
Sit down, you. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, I went from half health to no health. That's no good. <laughs> you need to be more careful. I should have been playing with the kneecapper. <laughs> Oof, indeed. I know, right? That's a real ripper right there. Uh, you think they're cool, but you want to know... Uh, you want to do a Minuteman run first? Totally understand that. Yeah. Well, this is why we slept before we went on Remind the yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. <laughs> You're not wrong, dog. Oh, man. Well, this is, this is specifically why we took our two-hour nap before we decided to go on our ride and get up and out of here. It was bad to happen. Must have been a legendary weapon then. Could have been. I mean, took out half our... Like, we took 200 and something damage. Essentially. Um... Through our armor. So. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Uh, but don't forget, we've got a rip emote. Uh, if you guys feel as though it's appropriate to spam that in chat, as I do. Um, but yeah. Captain's Log! Well, we might as well wait around and sit here and do this. Captain's Log. Star date. Uh, what is that? May 25th, 2288. We found ourselves wandering the railroad. Went on and tracked down what was going on with the uh, them blood trails. Turned out it's some red paint trail going all throughout Boston itself. Uh, gave us the hint towards uh, a real easy puzzle to go and meet up with the railroad themselves. Turns out the password, railroad. <laughs> Not the smartest one I've ever heard. Brought our companion Curie with us and mopped up a couple of situations they had with synths after which went to go get Curie a brand new body she's now sitting in a brand new synth body currently dealing with all the sensations of being humanoid versus uh i don't know why i'm doing that i don't know why i'm doing this accent i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing over here i think it's just because i got shot to death um this is the worst captain's log yet. Holy moly. This is just this this is all over the place. Sorry, Balinor. <laughs> Let's get you a low quality uh, captain's log. Well, when we did that, then we came on back and we set up some stuff in Starlight, got her a brand new gun, and we're got her got her the gun. She's got a gun. It's a cool gun. It's a good gun. And log. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the captain's log, but it fell apart real quick. Um it's interesting to see that uh, our companions actually use ammo. And ready to fire. They actually the use ammo. I had no idea they would actually use ammo. That's a little disappointing. They don't actually just use the gun forever. So eventually they'll run out and pop over to their default gun. So that means we need like ample amounts of whatever ammo type they were going to be using. The problem is, I uh, sure, I had like 400 uh, plasma cartridges, but those things aren't going to last that long, really. <laughs> <laughs> <Bound art. laughs> yeah, eh, you know, it, 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 you know, you win some, you lose some, right? Um, uh, but yeah, like the the gun's pretty garbage with accuracy. Watching her fire that thing, that was that was abysmal. That was pretty abysmal. Oh man. Uh, but yeah, it took you a while to get there uh, in the third. I got gotcha. you. Um, you generally like the beast races. You kind of just. Uh, like looking at what you can't play, oh, what you haven't played, uh, that works with Gunslinger, and like do a Warhammer 40k joke with it. I mean, I guess yeah, you could do that. Like a Rattling Snipers, yeah. Um, I don't, what are the Rattling uh like ability bonuses? Because I always look at the ability bonuses and whatnot. And I, I build my, I, I do it backwards. I, I build a class. I'll, I build a character and then I give it a backstory later. I do I do it very backwards to... There's like two standard approaches. And I do it backwards to you. you you've got a general idea of what you want to do. I have no idea what I want to do. I just build a character and I'm like, perfect. Dex int minus strength? That's pretty good for Fractal. That's, that's really good for uh, Gunslinger. They get bonus intelligence? That sounds crazy to me. How do the rat folk have bonus intelligence? What? Alright, see if that uh, that raider is still here. 
but still we'll take him out of range. Yeah. Doesn't look like that legendary raider is still here. Or, wait. Nope. Ah, okay. Still have to go this way either way, so it works out fine. Uh, they're plus dex, plus int, plus free. Oh my goodness, minus strength. Wow, that's incredibly good. This is a very good bonus. Oh no, they're still here. Oh, they're like literally right here. Don't worry, we got our kneecapper. Uh, can I get out of the water, please? Can I get, can I get out of, thank you. Get out of the water. Like this. I don't know if there are any other raiders around here. That's the only one. Might have been the only one. You know, trespassing, it's a cabot house. There we go. Get back over here. Um, they get low light vision and their size small. Size small is always great. Actually, does a uh, small mess with damage in this edition? Um, I assume so. I assume it reduces the size of your weapon and thus reduces the damage that you do by one die. Usually, it's small size creatures are one die smaller damage. So if it's like a one d eight, you do a one d six, or if it's a one d six, you do a one d four. Usually, how it works for smaller creatures. Where are we going from here? There's this street up here. I wonder where those raiders are. I imagine there's some somewhere. Unless it was just that one solo raider. Maybe it was. Well, alright then. Works for me. Oh, ghouls. What the? Is there someone else around here? Get them all? I don't know who. Oh, that might have been uh, might have been Deacon who was talking, honestly. For all we know, because it. No, no, those are definitely raiders. Yeah, I could tell before the subtitle started up. Let's see if we can go get the drop on them. Don't know what we'll run into. They're all legendaries or not. Ooh, Brax up in there. I'll take that. Nice. Is so, like, up above? <laughs> Amazing. Uh, you still haven't had an actual D&D game since you DM'd for the Star Wars uh, flavored session? Oh, man. That sounds like fun. Doing the Star Wars. It, it must be tough, though, too. Like, I don't know. It might be... Uh, it just sounds like doing Star Wars might be kind of tough to do. Versus, like, standard fantasy, like, generic fantasy setting. Oh, there they are. Raider and Raider. Found him. Got him. Hickman Gallery? Oh. Hickman's Gallery is short and sweet if you want to stop by. So is this a, is this a quick one right here? Uh, just a quick pop in, pop out. Is that what you're saying, Dull Wolf? I mean, if so, we might as well clear it out. Oh, that's what this is. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go clear this thing out. Let's get her done. There's three raiders outside. One of them was already dead, though. So I don't know what that's all about. Science and Pathfinder 2nd Edition does not affect damage. Slippery bastard got away before, but Slab won't leave a man breathing after he's hunted our crew. I heard Pikmin skin Roy alive after he snatched him. Let the rats get out. Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. No joke. The faster we clip this asshole, the better. It always feels like something's watching me in here. <laughs> How'd you know? There is something nearby. Identity unknown. Oh my goodness, there's someone set up a mine. It wasn't me, I didn't set it off. 
Someone else did it. I've got the perk. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Message to Jack. Have you found something interesting? Yeah, I'm going to check this thing out. Message to Jack. What a taste in paintings. I'll have to take a look at that. I'll have to take a look. It's relatively quick. Nice. Uh, but size and Pathfinder second edition doesn't affect your damage dice, so your Rattling Sniper is still alive. Crazy, really? It doesn't affect damage? That's nuts. I wonder why they did that. Uh, does being a smaller size still give you plus one AC for being smaller and harder to hit? Fifth edition removed that too? Really? Huh. Uh, did they also remove the benefit of, like, because the other aspect of being a smaller size is you had, like, a minus two to strength, but a plus two to dex. Um, it does not anymore. Okay, all right, so they removed the benefits that you got out of it for the negative. You just, because uh, what you would do is you would just get a feat uh, that would let you, your weapon count as um, medium size. So it would just cost you one feat, and then it'd be the same. Oh, Seth, are you alive? I found out what happened to the scouts who went missing up near the old art gallery. <laughs> who the hell is there? Admiring my collection. I'm afraid it's not complete yet. Oh. So, no. Stay away from me, you psycho! Ew. Yes. Just like that. Hold that expression on your face. Ew. That femur. Playing games with me, huh? Uh, no, no, I'm just looting. Don't mind me. I'm gonna take these parts and pieces, though. They're coming with me. Because I can melt them down into cutting fluid. Only a fucking coward hide. No sign of them now. That's oh, they're upstairs. I'm like, Curie? Are you swearing to me? What are you doing? Oh, Kiri, you okay? Oh, above. Come on. Come on. There we go. I get some rapid fire on him. Hickman's calling card. Who's this? Oh, wait, I have a handful of them. Oh, I found these before. Pikmin was here. Find me if you dare. I found these before, yeah. Jet, some duct tape. Here, get over here. What in the... Pikmin's a weird one, that's for sure. I say as I pick up... Jeez. A gun right in my face. Make me nervous. Um... I, I say he's a weird one as I'm walking around picking up all the bones. <laughs> Alright. Look back. Nice. Ooh. This just brings us into the other room, right? Sweet. Yeah. Not too special there. Another Pikmin's calling card. Really don't need more of them. All right. Let's just go ahead and use the big guns. Close quarters combat. Or he is. Pikmin's calling cards on all of them. There almost be upstairs. A grenade. Bone, a skull, like that. Come on, Fadu. Duct tape. It's calling card. Road leathers. Hmm. I wonder if this is like. Is it Pikmin's gallery, right? So this is like where he brought all of his victims? If you say so, Kiri. What the hell was that? 
Hello. Hello? Where'd that person go? They like sidestepped out of the room and disappeared. Alright. Souvenir teddy bear? I guess, I guess I'll take it. Eat. Oh, there you are. I'll hit one of these days. Gary, you're in the same room. Combat armor chest beast. Oh, let's just go to the. Oh, there's a brick wire here. Hey. May I be of. Let's go ahead and let's get her this combat chest piece here. Resistance. There you go. Now you're, now you're looking to part. Yourself nice and safe, please. Uh, a psychopath that only targets raiders. Is he a good guy? I mean, that is a good question. Um, we need to level. Oh, we do need a level again. It's true. We've got at least one level, maybe two. We got. I think we only have one level. We need to do. We definitely need to do that. We'll do that right before we sleep, just so we don't have to redo the level after. Tube, teddy bear, these tubes. What's in here? What's in here? Be careful. A mine. Huh. Where's this take us? Oh, <laughs> all right. Carries in immediately. Save. Uh, remember the long fight. Uh, remember the long fight getting here. Uh, well, we'll have to save as soon as we can. Then. Let's go. Hello. We are fighting. Why not a civilized discussion instead? I would if I could, but I just don't really want to talk things through, do they? Oh my goodness! Wow, look at this place. Give up now? I'll make it quick. Disappearing act, huh? Is not advised. I'm Curie. Nice and quiet now. Visual contact broken. Nice and quiet now. Let's we'll take a look from down here. I don't know if there's stairs back up from here. There they are. Scared, huh? Should be. I think they're the ones quaking in their boots. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant by quaking in their boots, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll take it, that's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's scary. Sure, why not? Where were they? They came downstairs? They must have been upstairs. I somehow missed them. Weird. Oh, or maybe they're all the way down here and they moved up one floor. That was funny, though. <laughs> all right. Some more ammo. Blood can. All right, there's the oil can. We'll take that. There's a little more oil. Two set. Don't need that right now. Grab that. Let's see here. You're clipping that? Good. Good, good. That's definitely, definitely clip worthy. That was funny. I take these hands? No. Me? Okay. That is just ridiculous. Alright, so what's in here? What is this holding on to? Ah! It's a table knife! Take the lunchbox. Oh, we got down here. Wicked in their boots. Very nice. Grab. Yeah, at some point I need to do a uh, a compilation of of clips, clip compilations Pikmin! on YouTube. Be good. You can't hide forever, you sick bastard. Pikmin. Hello. You can't hide forever, you sick bastard. Can't say the same line forever. Pikmin. Well, actually, you can. Oh. 
Okay. Like that. We're in danger. From where, I don't know. We'll go left here. This feels like a dead end. But it is a dead end. Don't you love it when you've got the right punch? Can't bash through it. Darn. Uh, when they say you're gonna catch these hands, I don't think that's what they meant. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. What is this Elden Ring? What am I doing here with this platforming? What? Save it for tomorrow. Frognak. Yeah, that, that's like, there's supposed to be an elevator right here. Uh, where did she even jump to? Oh, she jumped, jumped all the way down. Okay. Why are there so many raiders in here? Pikmin must have really pissed off the raiders. Kind of reasonable, though, if he's been exclusively targeting raiders. Nothing over there. Stims. Oh, hello. This one's, uh... It's kind of nice when all the mines are actually being knocked off by other people instead of us. Blown up. Legendary Raider. All right, let's get to know there is one here. Uh, actually, let me go top off here before we. Before we start fighting them. Uh, where are they? Oh, you got them, Kiri. Nice. Oh no, you didn't. They're still alive. Here, you made me think you finished them off. Although I am glad we did that wasn't the case. There we go. Got it. Maybe you need to change Kiri's coagulator scope. Uh, she didn't fire at all. Oh yeah, because she's got a long scope on right now, so maybe she's only gonna fire if she's at long range. That's a good point. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> it's a wolf, nice. Oh man, looking forward to seeing all the clips at the end of the stream. Always watch them at the end of the stream. All right, what's up here? Gonna ring around the Rosie over here, huh? Setting off some sort of alarm. Oh, caps. Oh, I picked up something. I don't know what I picked up. Quick, watch the replay. A burnt book. Ow. Oh. Up a burnt book. I think burnt books end up in miscellaneous, don't they? They weigh something too, right? Burnt book, weights one, value nothing. We even have a burnt trade magazine. Eh, it's, it's weights nothing, so that's fine. Yeah, I don't need that book. All right, what we got? You can't hide forever, more, more uh, not grenades, but uh, what, frag grenade uh, mines? You know, that clicking noise, um, that deactivating noise, uh, with the with the grenades. You hear me? Wait, that was the legendary? Not anymore. I think that I think there are two legendary ones there. Uh Kiri, your your gun's in me. Kiri. She's she's looking through the scope. You zoomed in. Yeah, two legendaries. Look at that. An auto stim combat armor, right arm, automatically uses a stim when your health hits 25% or less. Once every 60 seconds. That's actually not a bad thing. That could be useful. And a ferocious combat knife. Increases damage after each consecutive hit on the same target. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Those are pretty good, but I'm not doing any melee. It is a good weapon, though. Damage creep. 
dog. Um, but yeah, the sound of deactivating the mine sounds very similar to the same sound uh, bite that was used for Nice of the Old Republic when deactivating a mine. I think it might be the same sound. Wait, did I walk past a whole bunch of Nuka Quantum? Hold on a second. Did I just walk past two bottles of Nuka Quantum? I did. Oh, it's because I had to turn around to see it. Since. Grab that. I'll be taking it. Thank you very much. Left behind. Uh, you always save the combat knife and knuckles uh, for your Siddler combat arena. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, we've got we've got the bloody knuckles, and now we've got the uh, ferocious combat knife. I think we also have a ferocious uh, power glove. Finally blood. got you, Pikmin. Thought you could hunt and torture our people to your heart's content. I'm gonna enjoy killing you. <laughs> 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 What if I don't kill him? Can I talk to him? I can't. Hi. <sighs> that was close. Thank you. Those people deserved worse than death. <laughs> uh, they're killers. You deserve the same. I don't know. Why you? Why did they want you so badly? A small disagreement. They objected to my hobby of collecting their heads. Let me repay you. Uh, avid minds. I don't care. Done it entirely. Uh, done it either way. If I let you, wait, what? Um, what did you have in mind? A gift. Nothing more. If you visit my house again, look deep within my painting, Picnic for Stanley, and you will find my gratitude. You'll need this. Pikmin key. Okay. Hey there. As much as I appreciate your help, I work alone. All right. Uh, you, you do you. Does this have ammo in it? Nice. Said two bullets. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, let's drop that gun now. I don't need it. I just want the ammo in there. These walls could really use some uh, patching up. That's for sure. Yeah, don't worry. I'll be I'll be careful. We'll go ahead and get my radiation cleared up in a moment here. Prove scatter boosted laser rifle. Yeah, I'd like to get Kiri a better gun that she would like regularly use, but I just don't think that's a thing. Two bullets, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, two more ten millimeter rounds. I mean, with how often we. Wait, how fast it goes through the 10 millimeter rounds is actually quite worth it. Pikmin's a good guy in this story? Seems like it. I mean, he's taking care of raiders. If he can clear them all out for us, that'd be amazing. I think there's a bobblehead magazine down there, by the way. Uh oh, wait, what? Uh oh. Is there? Oh no. Uh, dog, we're gonna have to turn back around. The immediate about, about face. Immediate bat face. Gotta go back down there. Oh my goodness, the loading screens, they kill me sometimes. Back down. Especially when you're like, oh, you missed a thing, and I'm like, oh no! <laughs> I wanna go back! Takes forever to load. Oh, I was gonna go have some tea. Didn't have enough time. Intend to give Kiri the deliverer uh, in your playthrough. It's a uh, small size suits her. I mean, the thing is, like, she just, um, she won't stick to this, to the gun now. Oh no, the uh, bobblehead and whatnot is probably what I get from the key that he just gave me, right? Oh, the cement has in it, so that's important. Some universal, uh, or industrial solvent, definitely want that too. Just give all companions a scatter laser uh, rifle mix, uh, maxed out full. Ah, uh, and no, it's down here somewhere in this room. Really? Oh, I might need some help. I don't see it at all. Also, what what is this? What is this thing? I don't, know. Uh, I don't see it at all down here. 
So drop down from up there. It's in this room? Can't break it. Magazine's on the floor. Aha! Good find, good find. Astonishingly awesome tales. Uh, you've collected an issue of Astonishingly Awesome Tales. Game plus five poison resistance. That's nice. The Mad Russian's Revenge. Okay, got that one. The Bobblehead. Any idea where the Bobblehead is? Aha, I found it. Lock picking Bobblehead. Excellent. Always strive for the unobtainable. Lock picking is permanently easier. Okay. Nice. Another 10 mil uh, pistol. We didn't see if we picked up any ammo from that, and we we got no ammo from that. Well, darn. Might have been the same one that I picked up, honestly. Oh, it's a bunch of ammo. I'll take that. All right, let's get out of here. Perfect. Thank you for letting me know if there's uh, some goodies down there. I don't want to miss those. Poison's a real pain, so having even just plus five resistance, that's really good. I'll we'll take that. I will take that indeed. Also, Coffee, welcome back. How are you doing today? We were, there was a lot of firefighting going on, so I didn't quite have the opportunity to say hi. But hi. Um, but yeah, we should probably go change our scope to a medium-sized scope instead of the long scope, because long-range scope... Is, that probably dictates her uh, engagement range. Uh, what range she engages combat at. Probably could do that. Use that out. Kind of wish uh, you hadn't fixed your sleep schedule. <laughs> you missed watching the whole stream. Oh no, you've got a normal healthy uh, sleep schedule? <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> uh... Is this back? Yeah, this is back at the main entrance here. For now, at least. <laughs> 1 p.m. streams hurt. Yeah, it's brutal. Yeah, I start my I start the streams at uh, 9 p.m. Pacific, which is kind of tough for most people. That is that is a tough time for most, uh, you know, here in the U.S. Just because it ends up being midnight uh, East Coast when I start. We'll see how long it lasts. All right, well, hopefully it lasts long enough for you to get things done that you need to get done. Like that piece, why not? Uh, we forgot to get his gift from the paintings. Oh my goodness, you're right. We need to go back to the paintings. Long before. Are you okay? Looks like she was limping. Gary? No, she's fine. Okay. She's just running. It's like that uh, coming out of a run to a slow walk animation. It's in the front room of the gallery. Okay. Yeah, we need to go pick up his gift. Because then we can just ignore that building from now on. We can just cross it off the map. I think it might actually already say cleared on the map. We'll take a look at the map here real quick, see what it says. Whenever, of course, the game loads. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Uh, we do need to save, though. Bill Wolf did tell us we need to save. We gotta go find a find a bed to go nap in. Um, I think there was a bed on the second floor of his house, wasn't there? Yeah, it does say cleared. I think there was a bed on the second floor of his house. I'm gonna go nap in that real quick. Might have to use an antibiotic afterwards, but that should be fine. Was it down here? That's oh, behind me. Um. What? Where's the entrance to this place again? Oh boy. Let me see the other side. I can't recall. Down oh, I think it was down here, right? Yeah, damn. There we go. Found it again. Whew. We did it.
All right, so we need to go and look at... For medical research, autopsy in the study of the human body is important. But this, this is sick. Yeah, it's a little much, isn't it? Bring me though. Not this guy. Ah, this one. Here it is. Oh, what do you know? Uh, we've got some ammo, caps, uh, alloy left arm uh, piece. That's not important. Oh, Pikmin's bleed targets. Okay, targets bleed for twenty-five points of additional damage. Wow, that's actually quite good. <laughs> that is it's actually quite good because bleed damage stacks if memory serves. Right, another knife. Uh, <laughs> for the would-be combat pit? Yeah. It stacks too, by the way? Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. <laughs> Copy. To infinity and beyond. Oh my goodness. We're out of here. We're going to have to read that thank you note too. A tactical 44. I don't need to read that. Thank you very much. Uh, so what is this? In miscellaneous. Oh my goodness. The scrolling is a nightmare. Actually, wait a second. There's some folders in here. Drop folders. <laughs> we don't need those folders. Get me out of here. Pikmin's. Thank you, Dad. Here we go. Thanks, killer. Oh, okay. That's. Okay. Oh, we, we read it for the lore reasons, but it didn't really feel worth going to all the trouble to take a look at it. Uh, Pikmin might be a reference to Lovecraft's Pikmin's model, a novel written in 1926 about a Bostonian painter. Who creates horrifying images? Oh, really? I always like it when these Easter eggs people put into games. It's always good. But the thing is, like, these are things that most people would like never pick up on. Always, I prefer the Easter eggs to be at least something you know the layman would know about, right? Something like the average the average gamer would probably know about. There's a few Lovecrafting references in this game. Yeah, I know there definitely are. Um, but I won't pick up on any of them. I've, I've read zero of the of Lovecraftian things in general. So I will. I will never pick up on them. I don't know. <laughs> Same. Yeah. I don't know. Hey. Oh my goodness. Hello and welcome back, stupid plays. How was your stream? Thanks for the raid. How was your stream? What were you up to today? What were you up to? Quick sip of tea before we run downstairs. It was good. Um, gamer, uh, streamer rate tonight. Oh, nice. Uh, which, uh, I don't even know at this point. Are you playing Classic WoW or are you playing um, Retail? If you're currently playing Classic, then I'll know what you're talking about. If you're talking about Retail, then nah, I have no idea. Retail? Yeah, no. <laughs> I stopped playing after Wrath. Um, I doodled around a little bit uh, in Kata when it was released, but I, I never got the DLC. I never got the expansion, rather. Uh, so I never did any of the Kata content and beyond, just the starting zone Kata content. Uh, but if you're if talking about uh, good old, between uh, Vanilla WoW through um, Wrath of Lich King, oh boy, I still remember a lot of it. <laughs> That's for sure. Save? Oh yeah, I was supposed to save. Gosh darn it, I didn't save. Um, we don't really have a good way to save. We need a bed. I don't think there's a bed in this building. Yes, I don't think I, I don't think there's a bed in this building. Take a look. Well, Dragon Flight has been um, ace so far. Nice. We save after meeting with Road. Okay, cool. We'll save first time. I know, right, Gary? Jeez. Luckily, it's all radioactively glowing down here. It's all bioluminescent. And the new guy patched me up, put me on his shoulder, and blasted his way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. It's true. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Um, oh, hold on. Before we uh, jump in on this, I've been uh, rooting around with some raiders. Let me just make sure if that uh, were dicked. Well, you know, it's to, be, it's to be expected. Am I out of uh, clean water, by the way? I am out of clean water. Oh, boy, that's not good. 
Uh, I've got some dirty water I can drink. I'm still parched. Okay, we've got some maybe cola we can drink then. There we go, hydrated properly. Also, this will heal us, so that's good. Uh, why lie, evasive, tell the truth? No, no, we'll go with this lie. Every word he said was true, and then some. A full hundred. I, I can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd yep. be insane not to sign him up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about or lied about anyone so highly before. Welcome to the <laughs> railroad, Agent. I think she I think she knows that she was lying. I think I think she knows quick save. Nah, we can't quick save in this one, unfortunately, Falcon. Uh, we have to sleep in survival mode. But how are you doing today, Falcon? How are you doing? Uh, are you, uh, you can get uh, cured inside a railroad HQ. Nice. Perfect. Doctor makes it easy. Cured just like that. Oh, me lying? She just liked that? Oh, no. That's no good. Oh, ah, well. Why should I join? Unsure? Join the railroad? Yeah, why, why should I join? Why should I join you? If you're having any doubts, you shouldn't. Not very many of us live to retirement. But if you're like me, that doesn't matter. There are great wrongs that need righting. Sure. All right. I'm in. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. It seems. Yeah, she doesn't believe it. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Professor? Fixer? No code name? More options. I mean, I do like Fixer, but uh, what are the other options? Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Charmer, Whisper, and bull uh, Bullseye. I mean, we're pretty, we're pretty good at shooting. We're pretty good at shooting. The doc is a ray of sunshine. Uh-oh. Now you get to pick your secret agent name. Uh, your favorite is letting uh, Des pick. Is that an option? The response would be appreciated. Whisper. Whisper, charm. I'm, I'm leaning towards like charmer or bullseye. I like those two. What was the other one? It was professor and fixer. Fixer's not bad. We fix problems. The cigarette smoke is very. <laughs> it's smoking very fast. It's true. Uh, if you have any downs, you should. Great recruiting line, Des. <laughs> right? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's not the past. That's for sure. Uh, he's playing it up, but uh, Deacon is entirely lying. It's true. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. That's why Kiri wasn't too happy about that. Um, Let me think. It's a big decision. Take your time. Professor, Fixer, Charmer, Bullseye, Whisper. I'm assuming no code name is what lets Des pick. I don't know if I. I don't know if I want to go with the true randomness of letting her pick. Um. I'm leaning Have towards fixer. No, it doesn't work like that. And your life, your bullseye. Name, your choice. And we are quite the charmer. I mean, have you seen our hat? <laughs> we are. We're quite the charmer. Um. We're going with bullseye. I mean, we're pretty. We're pretty good. I mean, not always on target, but when we hit, we take them down. Wander is what Des picks. That yeah, Wander is okay. We'll go with Bullseye. Call me Bullseye. Well, from what Deacon says of your fighting skills, Bullseye seems apt. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. But first, Patches it's up time too. to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most taken be careful. So be careful. Never know when you're being watched. You never can talking. tell when you're being watched. All right, we're in. Did she just open it? Oh, okay, she opened the... This is the problem when they put the doors on the wrong side. <laughs> she put her hand out to the solid piece of the door as opposed to the doorknob. Disappeared through. It may lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe, and we've taken precautions not to be surprised again. Things are chaotic right now. So there's plenty for you to do. All right. Good to hear. Yeah, this is just a lower sewer area around here. Welcome, Special Agent Bullseye. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm feeling good. Oh my goodness, there's a robot. 
Do we kill it? Is the preferred method fire or bullets? I feel like the chrome job on this guy. It's looking very flashy. Listen up, everyone. This is Bullseye. He did the switchboard off with Deacon. He's a full agent, effective immediately. I'm counting on each of you to show him the ropes. Feel free to welcome him aboard. That is all. It's not an easy road you've chosen. But you're never alone in this. Welcome to the family. We're a colorful and arguably insane bunch. But you're stuck with us now. Speaking of which, if you don't mind a sidekick, let's keep a good thing going and travel together some more. Ah, cool. We will definitely do that at some point. Don't they need you here? My job's mainly intel. So, the more places I go, the better I'm doing it. And you are just one big, beautiful distraction. Oh, okay. Plenty of opportunities to learn <laughs> secrets moving around in your shadow. Can we trade a few things? You doing a withdrawal or deposit? Um, withdrawal? You keep those sunglasses, mister. It's critical that you hold on to those sunglasses. Oh my goodness, they have an espresso machine. All right, this place is fully kitted out, I see. Robot over here. There's not a lot of people in the railroad, is there? Thicker Tom's cooking up something. I hope it goes better than last time. Hey, Kiri. Um, you can spend the first part of the game entirely watching you. I don't think he's uh, needed at the railroad. True. Non HQ. That kind of makes sense. They have people kind of all more people around the place than they do uh, here. All right, we got a pointer. We got a safe house. We got a dead drop. We got danger, we got a cash, and we got ally. I mean, I understand the need for this, but since the only thing of note is actually just this piece here, I feel as though getting rid of the star on the outside probably would be smarter because it would be less noticeable for people to see. It's interesting that danger is actually missing an additional like, left and right on there. I don't know. Oh my goodness, Probacus! Probacus, thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate that. Nine months. <gasps> It's a Twitch baby. Oh my goodness. How are you doing? Thanks again, I appreciate it. Danger. Why is it dangerous here? Besides me stealing your ammo. I mean, borrowing your ammo. For official railroad needs. Oh no, Kiri, we need that. It's uh, truly crucial. Oh, it's a catacombs. Concrete brick catacombs. Okay. It's a brick catacombs. Oh, what is this? You really walk the Freedom Trail? By yourself? Uh, yes. <laughs> when running synths out of the well, wastelanders can be a bigger problem than even the Institute. Hmm. Huh. I'm looking at this map upside down. I'm trying to orient myself on this map. Yeah, I am. Maps this way. I think. No, it's not. That is this. I don't know. I'm looking the right way. Hey, yeah. Looks like they're moving northeast. Or northwest, rather. Hmm. A lot of time to see. Yeah. Hope you're doing great. Wishing you all the... Uh, wishing you a great rest in beautiful holiday. Thank you. I appreciate that. You Working too. Oh my goodness. Give me those cups. I need those. We just need a little bit more uh, body armor for her and she should be good to go. Yeah, I hope you have a good holiday there, Probacus. So many noodle cups. Yes. Oh my goodness, this place is properly stocked. I just need that purified water and that dirty water for sure, too. <laughs> Welcome aboard. We need. We could really use your help. Cool. Let me take all your stuff. Thanks. Raw we just blue, leave. Huh? Not a bad look. All right. We got Drummer Boy. Uh, <clears throat> hey, Rook. The name's Drummer Boy. It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead drops and grab incoming agents and tell them where they're needed. I don't suppose you want to switch places. Yeah, it's an important job. Um, 
Yeah, why is that a bad job? Why is that a bad job? Runners at the bottom of the totem pole on the railroad. Just a hair above tourists. Being HQ's runner is a cut above field work, I suppose. Ah, someone's gotta do it. We'll be seeing each other. A lot. Eh, yeah, drama boy, alright. <laughs> alright. See you around for Bacchus. Thanks for dropping by. Appreciate it. Hope to see you again soon. Alrighty. Based off what Deacon said, I expect great things from you. Well, I do not disappoint. Desdemona. This isn't the railroad's darkest hour. We will make it through. Make sure you're never followed here. It's all our asses if you are. It's one crisis after another. Welcome to HQ. Okay, is there anyone else I can talk to before we sleep? Start working on the next thing? <clears throat> Bet you never met a synth before Glory. Uh, nope. Actually, I met Nick first, actually. I'll have you know. Doctor's sleeping. Sandman kill, just murder him in his sleep. Assume you're being watched. Always. Are there any free beds? Or are they all owned and taken? I hope to God the Institute doesn't find us here. At least not soon. Oh, there's Glory. Glorious Diamond City is under opposition control. Uh, is there any particular reason why these caskets are open with the bodies still in them? Uh, it seems a little much. Okay. Getting so many goodies just lying around. We're allowed to take them? Oh my goodness. That's in the atmosphere? I mean, it, it kind of. Can we at least put mattresses in these and sleep in them? Bench. Ooh. Bingo. Astonishingly awesome tales. You've collected an issue of astonishingly, aw astonishingly awesome tales. Do 5% damage with the cryolator. Oh. We haven't really done much with the cryolator. Uh, when apes go bananas, a gorilla ate my patrol car. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Jeez. Sorry, Tinker Tom's got me doing something. <laughs> Do doing stuffs. Alright, let me at least talk to the robot over here. Analyzing. Hello, Pam. Pam. Processing. Agent. Bullseye. Oh, wait, this is Pam. Your arrival was not calculated. Oh, this is Pam from all the, um,. Things that we were reading about. There's a double mattress where Glory is. Oh, okay. I'll jump back over there. Um, yesterday, when we were going through the switchboard, there is all that stuff about Pam over there. What do you mean it wasn't calculated? Temporarily unable to process verbal input. Still processing preliminary adjustments to statistical models complete. Commencing introduction. I was, am, and will most likely be. Pam, predictive analytic machine. The railroad, hello, nice to meet you. Uh, broken machine, yeah, what? Do you work for the railroad? Yes. My goals and the railroad organization have a high degree of correlation. They provide data. I provide first order approximations of the behaviors of all residents of the region, designated Commonwealth. Rephrasing. I predict the future. You see the future? Hard to believe. It's a, that's amazing. What? That's amazing. Caution. Biological life forms behave erratically, unpredictably. All output subject to an extremely high margin of error. True. Uh, how inaccurate? Good to know. Yeah, how inaccurate, though? Just how inaccurate are you? The smaller the group and the greater the time frame, the less accurate I become. Hmm. But all predictions are affected by the human element. Operation complete. You are a rogue variable. True. No current or previous models predict your presence or existence. Query, what is your point of origin? Uh, yeah, we'll just say Vault 111. It's fine. I'm from Vault 111, if that's what you mean. Accessing Vault 1. 11. Cryo Vault. Believed destroyed. Conversation terminated. 
pending construction of new probability matrix. Rephrasing. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, Pam. Bye, Pam. Ooh, is that some whiskey? Nah. Rum bottle. Bummer. Alright, uh, let's go see if we can find that double bed you're staying over by Glory. You from one of those vaults? You got too many teeth to be. Double bed over here somewhere? I wonder what has happened elsewhere. Is what has befallen the Commonwealth atypical? Less extreme? More? Um, probably typical is what we would say after the other fallout that we played. Um, is there another mattress? Oh, we can just, this is a double mattress. We can actually just use her bed. Okay, cool. Seven hours. Perfect. We can just, hey, t t listen, Glory, scoot over. Scoot over, Glory, I need that. Can't sleep for more than five hours and get your mattress. That's right. You've been hitting the cans way too hard, but I got my eyes open. I see you. Don't worry, I've been I've been hitting the chemist pretty hard too. Don't you worry. Got a lot of sense in play right now. All right, let's go see if we can find the doctor. There he is. Uh, uh, before we talk to him, we need to make sure we take care of our mental needs. Ah, it's our newest agent. Arch still dirty water. Probably hydrated. Testimona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It's true. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command, but what's done is done. It's true. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. Hey, you doubt me. What you talking about? Come on, man. What? You don't think I can handle a dangerous job? The danger doesn't concern me. Your work at the switchboard proves you can deal with that. I just hope the mission doesn't require knowledge about synths and our procedures. Something you've had scant opportunity to learn. Eh, I mean, I kind of know some stuff. Uh, to business then. Cut to the chase. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth. H-222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. The paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, please explain. What's a dead drop? Oh dear lord. A dead <laughs> drop is a mailbox with a rail <laughs> sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us. So keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. Uh, yeah, we'll get on this good side. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. Oh. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. We're on the sense guy. Nice. We've been uh, been avoiding Bunker Hill just to not get wrapped up into new stuff, but looks like we're going there now. Nice. Also, where's Tinker Guy? Let's go talk to Tinker Guy. Uh, his head gear makes uh, a good display piece once you pry it off his corpse. Oh my goodness. That was pretty funny though. Just being like, oh, what's a dead drop? And he's like, oh, I can't believe it. She let you in? Oh my goodness. Excuse me. The census sweep says you're clean. Hooray! We're bug free. Uh, census sweep? What? I went through a sensor sweep? Every test does will let me run. Full EMF scan, biological sniffers, and other state-of-the-art security. So the sweep says the Institute isn't watching you, or us. But the tests lie, man. Okay, have you eaten anything out there? Because if you have, they got you. What? I ate food? Uh, impatient? Seriously? Um, what? Are you seriously asking if I eat food? The food out there is dangerous. It's contaminated. That's why I grow my own food. Reclaimed pure water, local nutrients. Nothing goes in me that I don't see. That, that's how you stay safe. The Institute has these tiny microscopic robots in the food, man. And they report back. Tom, that's rubbish. You just don't get it, Carrington. The Institute is in your blood. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I did offend Carrington greatly with my ignorance. It's true. 
Uh, I mean, growing your own food is smart. True, true. But <laughs> it's, it's a level beyond. Yeah, it's a, it's a little further than. Uh, blood, a lot to process. Potentially terrifying. Lunatic, what? They're in my blood? Absolutely not. Tom, we ran your tests extensively. We found red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets. Everything you'd expect. And that doesn't get you the least bit suspicious. The results were too perfect. <laughs> too expected. And that's how they fooled you. <laughs> Uh, it's possible, uncertain, open mind, no proof, wait, what? Could the Institute really do that? Look, everyone says Tinker Tom is crazy. Until I'm right, you gotta understand. Wait. Those Institute scientists have centuries on us. It's true, you're Just only wrong like until you're right. Bees dreaming up the most messed up stuff you can imagine. Remember, in the blood. Okay, okay, if you really want to be safe, let me give you a little shot. There's, there's the motor. Says no one has to. But it will kill those little robots. There's battery acid in that serum of yours. Yeah. You can't nuke an omelet without irradiating some eggs. You ready to shoot up? Uh, what are the ingredients in this thing? What's in the shot? We've got algae, some yummy bacteria culture, and just a little bit of battery acid. But, but we gotta burn those babies out of you. It's a hard reboot of your system, man. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I'm unsure about that. That doesn't sound like a smart way to go. <laughs> Do it? Oh no, that's, uh, that sounds dangerous. Uh, this is indeed potentially terrifying. It is, yeah. Do it? Oh my goodness. We could probably do it. Inject the battery acid. I mean, you chance all for it. Are you okay? Did the Institute do something to you? I mean, we should, we should probably be able to survive it. It's fine. It's only battery acid. Hit me, Tom. Yeah, now you talking. Is he gonna hit me with a clipboard? Is he gonna inject me with a clipboard? That's no good. Now you're encouraging him. Hey, you, you get it, man. I make things around here. You, you go and do. You do whatever. And come back, and I will set you up. Uh, what do you make? What do you make? All the custom toys you feel, Asian shoes, my boys and I make. We're thinking outside the box, man. Gotta get real creative. Real wacky to stay ahead of those Institute eggheads. Don't even get me started on all their secret projects. Now... I got all these ideas in my head. So building time. All right. Yeah, Deacon liked that. That's pretty funny. All right. What is the status effect that we've acquired? Um, nothing, apparently. We've got a great mentats. We still have the mole rat disease. We're hungry. We're tired. We're fatigued. And we have insomnia. Require more sleep. Require frequent sleep. <laughs> sure it is. Is there a status for the shot? No, it doesn't seem like there's a status for the shot. We just are... Oh, my health! I had full health. <laughs> oh, my, indeed. Um... Ow. It's a good thing we got all those uh, noodle cups from here, right? It's a good thing we took all those noodle cups. Gracious. If You've got a real knack for construction. More than capable of Holy moly. Yeah, nothing else for us to really work on here. I think it reminds you of a character from something, but you can't place him. I'm curious where, you're, where you can think of him from. Need uh, something? If you need something, take it. That's what it's there for. Oh, wow. All right, Des. Nice. This record is the best. You could learn a lot from him. I was the doctor. I suppose you're here for my medical services. Let's see what's wrong with you today. Hear me. Yeah. Take a look at me, doc. Tell me your symptoms. Um, got an addiction. I've got an itch, doc. Too many chems. Got anything that can help? As a rule, the railroad severely frowns on all of this. But we can help you. Next time, stay sober. Yeah, it's not going to happen. In the Doctors of Blacksmith, too? Yeah, he's uh, apparently quite talented. And that's that. Anything else bothering you? Uh, nope. Uh, I think we're good. No, we're done. All right. Don't ruin my hard work by dying out there. Yeah, we'll see about that. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm getting tired. Hey there. Hey, you. You the new heavy? Bullseye, right? Heavy? What do you mean? What do you mean? A heavy. 
someone able to take whatever shit the Institute and Commonwealth dishes out and come back for more. Yep. So the switchboard was crawling with bad guys. Lines and shit too. Yep. Any of that true? Or was Deacon bullshitting me again? Uh, I don't believe it. Pretty much. Uh, didn't do it alone. Not a liar. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. That's hardcore. How'd you take down the old HQ? Please tell me you didn't go along with Deacon's in and out like a ghost crap. Oh no. Uh, uh, of course. With a whole lot of bullets and a whole lot of blood. <laughs> Fortunately, the blood wasn't mine. That's how you do it. Well, welcome to the party. After what happened to Tommy Whispers, we need another tough son of a bitch that can get shit done. I'm glad I didn't go with Whispers as a name. That's a... You know, so the, uh, the predecessor with that name didn't do so well, huh? Tommy Whispers, thanks, appreciate it. Tommy Whispers. Who's Tommy Whispers? Tommy was a second heavy at HQ. He went KIA after the Institute assholes took out the switchboard. With him gone... Oh, yeah, he was in the vault. ...non-stop. So I'm damn happy you're here. They call me Glory. The Angel of Death. The ass-kicking poster child of a liberated synth. I like it. Ask about synth, sarcastic. Nah, I like it. It's good. I like it. It's not to like. You're helping out my people. So some advice? Kiss up to Tinker Tom. Done. He's batshit crazy, but he's got all the good stuff. Yep, yeah, already taken care of. Good stuff, noted, good plan. Every, everyone's crazy. That's valid, and depending on how you look at it. Um, noted. You take care out there. All right, perfect. Is there anyone else we need to Some talk to down here? We'll be institute replacements, synth duplicates. So, be careful what you say. Hey, be able to talk to settlers at Abernathy Farm. What? Are talk to there? Preston Garvey. What? Greater troubles at Abernathy Farm. What? I don't even remember picking that quest up. The institute can uh, make anyone, and uh, they made someone that looks like Glory. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you gotta look like a rough and tumble wastelander, right? Glory is an awesome character, to be honest. Yeah, no, it's gotta look like a rough and tumble character from out in the Commonwealth. Damn. Solving for theta n when i approaches probability bounds. Yeah, uh, Pam is not in a state to do anything. Got a lot of synths in play right now. Makes them pretty dangerous. All right. Head up and out of here. Uh, so I guess the question then is, do we want to keep taking Kiri with us, or do we want to switch to Deacon? Do we want to switch to Deacon? Because if so, we want to do it before we leave here. Because uh, Kiri is just uh, flirting with her. That's all we got to do now. Yeah, that's right. The Institute did make Nick. That's true. That is true. Uh... Probably made a synth with the personality of a 70s noir detective. Yeah, I know, right? They purposely built one. It's true. I mean, since they're stuck inside, the Institute doesn't necessarily know who their people have to pretend to, you know. It's kind of hard to tell what the world is like if you don't actually go out into the world. Kind of makes sense. Dark pole. Box. Um, but yeah, we could, uh, let's go swap out Kiri for Deacon here, and then we can pick up Kiri later. Deacon is better sneak than Kiri, depending on, uh, despite how much he lies. Yeah, true. I think we'll swap out for hey. now, and we'll you bring Kiri back me. later. Yes? Hey, this good. Um, okay, so she still has her shots, but she did use 11 of them. Hey. What do you want? Hey there. Always a pleasure. Thoughts? Your thoughts? I wonder if the data I'm collecting will serve any purpose. I just wanted to check in, see how you feel things are going between us. I, I'm still adjusting to everything, but my feelings towards you are quite pleasant. Okay. Uh, thoughts dismiss. Uh, we'll go ahead and or do your thoughts again. Your thoughts? Humanity has fallen so since the bombs. It's true. Yeah. Oh, more? Your thoughts? We must find the men of science and institutes of learning. Surely they are out there still. Eh, uh, maybe. It's about time for you to go. All good things must end, I suppose. We'll send you back to Starlight. 
Alright, Kiri. Safe travels. There's no way that they end up dying on their travel, right? That's something I'm always worried about, ever since we had the, um, the vault tech guy die on his way. Our companions can't accidentally die while traveling, right? Otherwise, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, escort her back. You really want the freedom, Twink. I'll be honest here, Deacon. I'm actually quite disappointed. I, I, can you get your hair back? Do you have a wig? I, I was digging the dew. Oh, she's deadbeat. What? Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, good. <clears throat> want me back on deck, huh? I got to admit, things have been pretty quiet without you. Only player made automatons can die in survival. Okay, cool, cool. That's good to hear. The vault guy died? How? Uh, he walked outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah vault guy died. He walked outside of Good Neighbor and died immediately uh, to the super mutants. He just, psh, gone. It didn't even make it, like, a hundred feet out from, uh, from the door. So, uh, yeah. Heads up. What's the word? What's mine is yours, pal. I won't show him what gun he uses. What gun do you use? He's got a rifle. Okay. Here's the safe and sound of Sanctuary. Man, I really tried to get him to go to Sanctuary, but he died on me, and I couldn't get him back. I'm sad about it. You've never had that happen, uh, but to be fair, uh, you usually clear the Super Mutants out. Yeah, no, I hadn't cleared them out. Not yet, at least at that point. Disappointing. I'm sad that we that we lost him when I was sending him to Sanctuary, because that was back before we had moved over to Starlight Drive-In. But, uh, well, go ghosts. Nothing we can do. We tried to bring him back, but uh, didn't have a good save where he was still alive. Vanilla vault Tech rep is not a protected character in, uh, like, normal settlers. Uh, he'll just die later in a raider attack or something. Uh, true, unless you have like a really good defense set up or keep him away from the combat. Yeah, that's a good point. Eventually he'd get in trouble. Alright. Whenever we load on in, time to start our next quest. Here we go. Oh, we're over to HQ. Okay, so that's where the other entrance is over there. It's gotta go up here for the dead drop. Perfect. Not far. Might have to get him some proper armor. Hi, Curie. I wonder where she walked out of. I know. I'm good. Safe travels, please. Safe travels. I need our companions dying. Very tragic. Where is this dead drop? Like under the bridge or something? Ninety... Ninety space units away. Where, where is this? Ah, oh, I must be in this building. Or past it? Behind it. Porch? What? Oh no, over here. Okay. Out in the open. Holotape. Old man stocked in solitape. Alright. And salt tape. Here we go. Update. Observed unusual activity has ceased. Window is open for a heavy to make contact, but they should act now. The package is still in my possession. It cannot remain here safely for much longer. Out. Wait, Deacon. Wait. Heads up. What you need? When did he? When did he change his outfits? I like the wig. I'm like I'm liking the look. He's looking good. He's looking good. 
Um, don't only the automatons uh, do other than Ada and Kazuya. Ah, okay. I gotcha. Uh, let's go ahead and... <clears throat> What's on your mind? Thoughts? Your thoughts? If we take out the Institute someday, I wonder what we'd do. Hell, since got it bad enough even without him. It'd keep us busy. Okay. Your thoughts? The way you just walk right out in the open, it's a wonder your head hasn't been blown off by a sniper. Just saying. Yeah, that's fine. I can take at least one shot. Look at this hat. This thing gives me ridiculous defense. Your thoughts? I'm in the mood for some Blamco mac and cheese. Ooh, or maybe Meyer Lurk steaks with salsa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your thoughts? You getting the hang of the railroad yet? We're just one big dysfunctional family. With guns. Your thoughts? Instinct is a powerful tool in our business. Rely on it. Train it up. It'll save your life. Promise. All right. Your thoughts? Keep your eye out for the rail signs. Besides the goodie bags, tourists and agents have left valuable intel. All right. Your thoughts? The Brotherhood. In Capital Wasteland, they really weren't bad. But now... In Capital Wasteland? Okay, so over DC then? So the only thing I can assume. Uh, you're wearing a tall hat, so enemy snipers aim high. Ah, yeah, it's true. They shoot too high. Yeah, they they miss my head because of it. Uh, he changes outfit all the time to blend in. Uh, he's got all kinds. A is a master disguise. It's true. Awkward silence or quality time. You be the judge. Your thoughts? All this sunlight. I just feel exposed. Ah, that's what the wig's for. Help stop you from getting a stunburn. Your thoughts? The Commonwealth can be the enemy just as much as the Institute. We've lost plenty of sense to hate mongers. Yeah, that makes sense. That's all for now. Another time. All right. Uh, back we go, I guess. Oh yeah, then we gotta go back to Bunker Hill. I'm gonna check it out. It is hard to determine whether the surface is more or less susceptible to outbreaks. But a preparation plan is never a bad idea. I love how she's just talking to herself as she goes back home. Be careful on your trip. Oh my goodness, did you just see him blip? What? Oh my. Deacon? Um, all of this just works? Um, apparently. Yeah, no kidding, he just starts changing his clothes all the time to blend in. He, wow. Wow, I was not expecting that. In broad daylight, he's stripping out in the middle of nowhere. Is he just constantly wearing something out? <laughs> Bug out for? Yeah, more or less. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Baka? Welcome back. Actually, it's your first time here. Uh, how'd your stream go? How'd your stream go last night? A free rated. Uh, how's it going, Bumblebee? Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Thanks for raiding, no problem. Saw someone who is uh, a little earlier in the game than I am, and since I'm playing a blind playthrough. Oh my, look at this. Halloween prepped. Oh yeah, no, absolutely taken. Um, oh, hello. But yeah, no, it's, uh, the hardest thing right now is trying to make sure we find someone who's like starting to play through, right? We gotta make sure I'm not gonna uh, any spoilers of any kind. Uh, that was good. Got some stuff done. Nice. Um, I think you're still ahead. Uh, I think you're still behind where I am currently. Um, so we're like working mostly on like main storyline quests. I gotta go pick up some more purified water. This is a real problem. Uh, we can go to the boathouse. That has some purified water at it. It's not too far for us to get there. Doing good? Good to hear, Bumblebee. Good to hear. I'm doing well. It was like a week before Halloween when the bombs fell. Uh, so you'll see houses with decorations. Yeah, it's true. Uh, he swaps when traveling. Uh, you just happen to sit in a technical area. Okay, so between, like, two different zones, two different outfits, I see. 
Bunker Hill has a water pump. Perfect. I know we popped our nose in here once. I haven't done anything else in here. Diamond City thinks it's got a lock on trade in the Commonwealth, but watch out for Bunker Hill. It has a lot of potential. Caravan workers. We will find that hey, pump. Man. What's good today? Just got a lot of scrap metal in. Could fix you up with some new tack or new shoes for your Brahmin. Well, you better hope that old gear holds. If your Brahmin breaks a leg, it'll cost you a lot more. I can't really hear this conversation. I did. <clears throat> Load a little heavy there? I'll buy anything you don't need and sell everything you do. Sure. Uh, your store? This your store? Uh, yeah, you got it. Caravans come through here. I buy whatever they don't want, fix it up, and sell the good stuff to the next caravan. But hey, no reason I can't sell to a drifter like you. Caps are caps. True. What's your opinion of Bunker Hill? Well, it's nice enough. Grew up with the caravan, so I feel right at home here. Don't like how we have to pay Raiders protection money, hmm. but that's the cost of doing business in the middle of everywhere. Speaking of which, I got a lot of useful supplies here that need a home. Look at them. So lonely. <laughs> you give Raiders protection money? Yep. Surprise me, Kessler managed to pull that off, but... She's convinced them that Bunker Hill is worth more alive than dead. I hate that we don't stand up to him, but what can we do? We're caravan folk, not an army. Mm, okay. Anything new in the store? Same old, same old. Take a look for yourself. Okay. Uh, Joe? Do you have any paying work? Yeah, I have something. It ain't easy, though. Oh? Caravan is just love swapping tall tales. But I've heard one story enough times, there's got to be some truth to it. Apparently, the northern road goes straight through an old military training yard that's just crawling with a horde of feral ghouls. And that's cutting into my bottom line. So you take care of that, and maybe I can throw a few caps your way. I feel like we already did that, but yeah, we'll ask for money. I'm not doing the job for chump change. I'm tired of Mercs blowing this off. Are ferals really that scary? Fine. Call it 175 caps. I can live with that. How many ghouls? How many ghouls we talking about? Who knows? The number keeps growing the more drinks the caravan hands <laughs> down at the way station. Yeah, no matter how many of them there are, they're scaring away caravans and customers alike. Mm. All right. Sounds like you need me a lot more than I need you on this. Clearing that road benefits everyone. I can probably get Kessler to chip in, let's say, 225 caps. All right, we'll call it there. We're not going to keep pushing her. Oh, perfect timing. The test just wore off. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. I already cleared the National Guard training yard. Well, I'll be. Take this then. You might want to talk with Kessler, by the by. She's looking for someone like you. Yeah. Oh, look. There's an I already did it option. Yeah, isn't that convenient? <laughs> Let's go ahead and drink up. We'll drink up uh, and we'll go ahead and fill up some bottles because we need some purified water. We're completely out. All right, let's go. Pour ourselves some water here. Wait, wait, did she only give us 150 caps? I missed it. I mean, we have like 27,000 caps, so it's not like it, it doesn't matter that much, but did she really stiff us on 75 caps? I don't know if I can trust her as a business partner. I don't know if I can trust her with selling her stuff and buying things. If she's going to be stiffing us on 75 caps for a job well done. Okay, looks like that's all we can get. Um, did you get the magazine at the top of the moment? No, I haven't really explored this area yet, so I definitely need to go explore. See what's around here. Looks like most of the stuff is stealing, unfortunately. Scammed, I know, right? Rude. Can I sleep here? No. Wait, can I sleep here? It's, uh, it's a board. What else? There's no plaque or anything here telling me what's going on with that? Okay. We gotta go find a bed that we can use. There's gotta be one somewhere. There's another store over there. Looks like they were, like, renovating the monument or something? Kid. Hey, sweetie. Hi, I'm Meg. You mean you do the hill? For 10 caps, I can give you the tour. 
Nobody knows a place like me. Oh, I'm in. Uh, get it for free? Nah, that's fine. Tour? What's in the tour? All sorts of things. Get a jump on the other traders. Come on, it's just 10 caps. Yeah, I'll give you 10 caps. Sure, I'll take the tour. Caps up front. Thank you. The market's in the back, bar's in the corner, and the outhouse is over the wall. Bye. Oh, come on. That's the worst tour I've ever been on. The one in Vault 80? Question mark? Was significantly better. Scammed again? I know, right? Rude. Beacon's already nice at home. Oh, what is this? Joint? Oh. Wake up, Commonwealth. Since they're not your enemies, they are victims in this war as well. True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming beings, utterly oppressed by their tyrannical masters. So join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. Join the railroad. When you're ready for that next step, don't worry. We'll find you. Huh. All right. Airman lady. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, that's him. It's literally the guy. I was going to say, look at this dapper man. Oh, wow. Uh, he's our target. Who's He's who we're supposed to talk to. So that makes perfect sense as to why he looks so dapper. Guards. Oh, I just got a bunch of junk over here. Look at that. Those trees of the link. Food, peckish. The safer I'm supposed to feel, the more paranoid I get. Yeah, I understand that. Cricket. Wait, cricket? Come on, come on. Get your guns here. Small booms, big booms. Wait. Got them all. Cricket has a shop here? We first met Cricket over in uh, Diamond C or out in front of Diamond City. What? Let's see what you got. A part of every big purchase goes to planting little bitty trees that I'll blow up in your honor. Caravan <laughs> <laughs> Lenny would got no clothes. Yeah, she's had no clothes this whole time. Uh, whenever she's wandering around, wandering merchants occupy the stalls from time to time. Oh, interesting. Okay, Cricket's a wandering merchant. They travel the wastes. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, but the lady with no clothes, she wanders around in, uh, near Diamond City. It's normally where we'd find her. For some reason, just doesn't wear armor. Uh, it's probably an intimidation tactic, um, to be honest. It, and, you know, it, it just works. But, I don't know. Let's see. Is there anything else you want or can? Yeah, we can still can grenades. Uh, is there any ammo we want to take? We can take some 44. Uh, she only has 24 rounds left, though. I think I'll just hold on to the rest. We got 28,778 caps, though. We got plenty. Uh, is this one kind of manned by the uh, the mannequins? I don't know. Airman worker. Egg. It's just... Uh, okay. It's just a door to that. Okay. Oh, there's two water pumps here. Nice. Corn. Ramen spot. It's a lot of caravan workers, less like actual people people. Oh, this is a place that we can take over. Not allied with settlement yet. Okay. Excuse me. Huh. I haven't seen you before. If you need a doctor, let's get you examined. That's nah, a doctor. No nope. nope, we're good. Not right now. Fine. That's <laughs> it. Fine. Be that way. Jeez, oh, okay. Sorry, I'm healthy right now. Goodness. Look at all the, uh... This place is actually pretty popping. It's, uh, there's a lot of places to buy stuff, and there's just a lot of people walking around, too. Cool. I know we've been here before. Chatted with one of these guys. That's Master Safe, you say. Something we can take a look at in the middle of the night. Except it does look like someone sleeps here. Oh, maybe not. Someone knocked over their ashtrays, okay. <clears throat> Booze and grub, right here. You own this place? Technically, everything is owned by all the caravan companies that come through here. We pull the money together and split it up. But, as far as serving drinks goes, this bar is all mine. Huh. Um... I don't want to see you since it looks like you got a couple diseases. Uh-oh, really? 
Oh yeah, no, we need to we need to sleep for sure. Uh, but the other one's the mole rat uh, disease, yeah, which is incurable. We can't get rid of that um, due to reasons. So we'll have to go sort that out. Uh, it's a bug. She's meant to be wearing the athletic outfit, but it doesn't allow leg armor. Oh, so she gets nude f uh, to protect the legs. Okay, <laughs> she wears her shin guards, but in order to wear shin guards, she can't wear her coveralls. I see. Which caravans come through here? Pretty much all of them. All the ones I know about, anyway. Takes a certain kind of person to brave the Commonwealth trade routes. Don't know what started first, the Bunker Hill Settlement or the caravans. But they're practically one and the same nowadays. Hmm. Either way, folks need drinks, so I opened up this bar here. Lots of alcohol on tap for you. It's good, Bunker Hill. What's your opinion of Bunker Hill? Honestly, kind of amazed we've lasted this long. We're always one broken deal away from complete disaster. But hmm. something keeps this place in one piece. Maybe the old spirits are looking out for us, huh? Hey, let's get some liquor in you before yeah, you speaking start of asking spirits. about God knows what next. Speaking of spirits, how about some whiskey? <laughs> you have any work? Well, there is one thing. Dad, okay. you're not going to send him on that same wild goose chase. Hey, he brought it up, not me. As I was saying, before us of all these started slinging rot gut for thirsty caravan hands, we came from a line of Minutemen. Huh. My grandpa, Brent Savaldi, was the last. He died fighting raiders just outside Malden. If you could find any of his personal effects, well, he didn't mean the world to me. If the price is right, I might help. Malden ain't the safest of places. I suppose I could spare 200 caps. That's not bad. I think we can do that. Any idea of where he might have fallen? Somewhere northeast of Malden. That's where they found the bodies of the rest of his squad. The raiders tore them apart, mutilated the bodies. Once, the Minutemen held their own against the Institute. But in the end, even raiders were too much for him. Huh. Okay. Yeah, we'll take the job. I'll find your grandpa. Just be careful, all right? I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. I gotcha. We'll go track him down. Uh, trash can Carla almost exclusively uh, routes the northwest, but she could be found uh, here. Oh, really? In Bunker Hill? Okay. Yeah, she's like she's the main one we end up running around, running into. Oh my goodness, it's Art! It, it's Art. We've seen him fighting his synthetic uh, counterpart three times so far in this playthrough. Hi. Look, I'm, I'm not that interested in chatting right now. That thing was wearing my face. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Please. I I just want to be alone. Hi. Please. I I just want to be alone. Oh, man. Need a roof over your head? Yes. Only place in town. A motel? Is this some kind of motel? I prefer the term flop house. <laughs> but don't tell my pa that. Gets him mad. When caravans pull into town, they need a place to sleep. So we ran out all the beds we can. So did you want one? Uh, how many caravans? How many caravans come through here? All of them. They kind of own the whole town, but money still has to change hands, so they know which caravan owes what. Bunker Hill is one big money makes the world go round kind of place. Raider problem? Pay them off. Supply problem? Buy more. Charge more. Hmm. Hey, weren't we talking about you renting a room? You need one? Wait, bribes? Hold on, hold on. We'll get back to renting the room in a minute. So Bunker Hill just buys its way out of problems? It's all they know. Caravan folk are money folk. And all the people who settled here retired from the caravans. Now that doesn't mean a Bunker Hill boy doesn't know how to sling a gun. But why waste the bullets if you can buy your way out of trouble for less? Hey, did you want that room or not? Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll take the room. I'll take it. Sleep lightly. The Raiders don't always play by the rules. Oh, jeez, okay. Well, that was very convincing. Okay, glad to hear that. It's okay again. Uh, learned something new. Uh, never seen art here before. Hey, there we go. Wait, which bed's mine? What? I gave him caps and I don't get a bed? Wait a second, I need a bed so I can... Wait. Um. It's a mattress upstairs? Did I just, like, totally miss the mattress? It says owned. 
Sleep owned. What? Dude, where are we supposed to sleep? Perhaps the game turned midnight after you paid him? That's only 8.30 p.m. Yes, I am getting scammed by everyone in this game, huh? This, this whole area is just scamming me. Excuse me. Need a place to stay? Grab it before someone else does. Here's your caps. No gunfire after midnight. House rules. Give one more try. One more try. There it is. Now we can sleep here. Thank goodness. Alright, let's go ahead and sleep for the seven. Go from there. Weird. I couldn't sleep here for some reason. I don't know why. Sorted. Oh. You're waking tired. Uh, let's go ahead and sort ourselves out here. Uh, aid. Antibiotics. Uh, we are still tired, so we still want to sleep a little more. Sorry, I think we can only go five hours. Uh, thirsty, and we have more disease. Thirsty can come back to. Let's go ahead and sleep another seven, so we get to like eight and change in the morning. He charged you twice because Deacon's sharing the bed. Ah, that see that makes sense. You still wake up tired. We're still tired. There's a trash mattress. You can't get seven. Oh, that's right. We can't get seven hours straight. That's right. You can only get five. Oh my goodness. Scammed again. This place has been the worst. This place has been the worst. We're going to go to our own settlement and sleep in a perfectly good, high quality bed after this. Finish up here. There's a magazine at the top of the uh, top of the monument. I think someone said. Take a look for it. Box. Our way through here. Ah. Very tight spiral staircase. Interesting spot where there's a hole. A bunch from here with lanterns in them. It turns out Bunker Hill is not that great. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing that well, huh? Back up the top. Alright, we made it. What do we get? Live and love! You've collected an issue of Live and Love. Permanently gained plus 25 experience for persuading men. Nice. Beware the manhandler. Hey, look, Deacon. You're, Deacon, you're, you're in a magazine. Who knew? What will that wacky barbarian do next? He's a fan of Grognak, you say. Let's keep that. Oh, jeez, Deacon. Deacon, please. Thank you. <laughs> kind of in my way from getting downstairs, Deacon. It's not going to work if we both try and shove past each other. Confirmed bachelor, more like true. All right, so I think that's everything we needed here. Bert, go back. Hey, that thing was wearing my thing. Okay, nope. All right, time to go talk to good old, old man Stockton and get out of this place. Excuse me. Welcome, my friend. Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Uh, no. In fact, mine's in the shop. Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone of the uh, feminine persuasion. Oh? You're with our mutual friends, yes? Uh, speak uh, covertly. That's right. The railroad needs help. Yeah. Let's say I am. Of course. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages. So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. Makes sense. All right. Oh, cool. I got that. Oh, my goodness. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome, um, Adelaine uh, Davidson. Welcome. Good to have you here. 
Uh, a female NPC stalked and asked for someone more heavily armed. Oh, really? So he just... He disses you no matter what. Interesting. Huh. Well, there you go. Uh, Idolene, have you uh, have you played this game before? Or any of the other Fallouts? It's my first time going through Fallout 4. Bumbling along for sure. Um, if I start here, speak covertly. Yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep saying covertly. A trader always has to move his merchandise sufficiently. And we're all about making good trade routes. Exactly. Hey, here we go, Deacon. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to some place nearby. But raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could... Yeah, we could probably do that. Uh, oh, yeah, that makes sense. You'd be talking about glory. Yeah, that makes sense. If he was looking, if he was looking for someone of the female persuasion, but someone who's more heavily armed, that would make a lot of sense that he would be looking for glory. Um, yeah, we'll just keep speaking covertly. Facilitate delivery. I can do that. We're supposed to make the delivery at night. So once you clear out the undesirables, we'll meet after the sun sets. All right, can do. Secure the rendezvous point. Rendezvous. All right, where is the rendezvous? That's not that far. Actually, it's pretty close to Boathouse, in fact. You want to do a quick pit stop over there. Nice. Uh, is there a door I can use somewhere around here? Can I just like hop out? No. Out there. Where's the front door? Wait. I don't know who that was. <laughs> Blasting out too. Interesting. They've got the outer porch over here. The uh, trick is how do you do this quest without activating a tom uh, automatron? Uh, but you don't need to worry about that. Ah, okay. Yeah, no, we don't have to worry about automatron. We have finished it. It is completed. Oh, I see, because it's like right next to where automatron started. I see. Let's see if there's any things around here. There's probably gonna be some. No? Okay. Let me re, uh... No new loot. No respawn. Okay. Not the laundromat. Where? Ah, the church. Okay. Oh. Knock, knock! Weird. Wait until I out. I was looking for someone who's a little more heavily armed. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's easy. You're all just basic raiders. Oh my good gracious, man. We have to wait until night. Uh, we can sit in the pews and do that. Ideally, there's a bed upstairs we could use to sleep and save, just so, just you know, just in case something goes wrong. Bed up here? No, there isn't. Ah, that's unfortunate. No bed anywhere. Got so many other locations around here that I can use. I mean, we can run up to the boathouse if we want, but I think we'll be fine. Go ahead and first. Actually, points all the way up. Just sit in the pew. Oh jeez, got the, uh, really pick the best one. At least get her off of us. Uh, wait until sunset, oh my goodness. Wait, what, like, eight hours until 5 p.m.? You done? Oh, <laughs> Deacon, what are you doing over there? Help the vent starlight, uh-oh. We gotta help defend Starlight. Marker over there. Let's go defend Starlight real quick. 
We can't let our main settlement get hit. We've got too many nice companions over there we care about. I guess while we're over there, we can go and drop stuff off. You have like 1.5 days to do it. Oh, that's good to know. How's it going, Straw? How are you doing today? Uh, I think we'll run over there real quick. You would wait uh, one more hour to get the next step. You have time? Okay. I always get I always get concerned though. I always get concerned. But yeah, if we just if it's just one more hour, that's good. Or shades. Speaking of automatron, actually, we can sleep one hour. Get our auto save right here and run on it. I'm out of noodle cups. No way, I'm out of noodle cups. That's crazy. Damn, out of noodle cups. Wow. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and get that's not cooked yet. I guess we'll go ahead and we'll get something else here marked. These chunks, I guess. Water. All right. Be another hour. We won't leave the quest. It might be finicky. Eh, true. Oh. H. Yeah, is H two twenty two. Hey there. Everything looks clear. This is H two twenty two. H2, here's the person I talked to you about. H2? Uh, strange name, be quick, too formal. Uh, greetings. Nice to meet you, H2. Another person actually happy to meet me. This'll take some getting used to. Remember what I told you, H2. I'll fire up the signal. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. I was curious about this. And there. Time for me to go. Keep H2 safe. Someone will be here shortly. All right. Be discreet now. Right, so I guess just kind of wait around for a little bit, a little bit here. <laughs> Deacon swapped over to his. Uh, so he looks the same as H2. Okay, makes sense. Kind of blend in. Oh my goodness! Hello. I Easy there. High rise? Don't shoot. Bullseye. Right? And my man Deacon. Still with the same old face? What? It's been three whole months. You're getting slow. I keep meaning to go to the face doctor, but who has the time? Right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. Ah, oh, nice. Uh, here for the package. Uh, Railroad's. Yeah, it's a Railroad side. Do you have a Geiger counter? Right, you are. Mine is in the shop. There we go, make sure Deacon likes us. Now, let's take a look at our friend. Hey, you, you okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. He told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen, there's more than raiders behind me. I'm afraid we need a little more help. A little more help? <sighs> nah, that's what I'm here for. Uh, new face. What do you mean a new face? We gotta file off the serial numbers on new arrivals. Make it hard for the Institute to find them. Uh. No sense going for a brand new set of memories as well. You know, for that extra protection and all. But first, we gotta get them to safety. We need to get to Ticonderoga's safe house. My home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, you do anything else there? Most of what we do is look after the new guys. They usually got a million questions, so I try and answer as best I can. We got some of our own questions, too, about the Institute and whatnot. Agents sometimes drop by to lay low if the bad guys are on their tail. Never a dull moment. Huh. I'll lead the way. All right. Let's go, High Rise. Uh, let's actually get to... Let's get serious. <laughs> let's pull out our serious gun. Old kneecapper. The one and only. The most OP gun I've ever played with. You want to make Charlestown a safer place? One asshole at a time. Boom. Winning, that is. Ah, the time of tradition of looting. Don't look. I'm done looting up. I'll be up ahead. There you go. 
You're overtired. Oh my goodness, we're overtired. That's not good. At some point you should get the unending double barrel shotgun. That'd be pretty good. Hey, high rise. Hey, we can catch up at Tycom. Yeah, okay, you just kind of stop moving, man. First. Uh, where's our friend? We'll just assume he's fine. That down? Right. Oh, the double barrel has the same recoil. Okay, interesting. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he's uh, taking his time over there. All right. That's a moral dilemma. Uh, would you change who you are entirely to avoid recapture by the Institute? That is a good question. I think it depends on, like, what you've done for the Institute and if you remember what you've been doing. <laughs> Holy! Um... Jeez. Hey, high rise. We can catch up at Tycon. We just got to make it there alive first. Yeah, you want to not step on gren on uh, on grenades on fragmentation mines. I'm, I'm very wary of where you're stepping now, buddy. Uh, oh my goodness, we made it back here. Uh, unending is the ammo capacity equals how many bullets you have. Basically, 2k bullets per clip. Oh, what? Okay. Hey, high rise. And we're here. All in a night's work for you agent types. Huh. Yep. Uh, this normal, no chit chat. Uh, yeah, no chit chat. Let's get, let's get inside. I'm not here for chit chat. To the point, then. If you ever need grub, bullets, or just a power nap, take the elevator up to Tycon. My house is yours. And Deacon. Try not to give the rookie too much shit. Deacon may be a terrible liar, but it always pays to have him on your side. Later. Uh, I thought that was going to get... Oh, okay, there it is. I was going to say, I thought that was going to get Deacon to like it. Like our uh, response, but yeah, it worked. It was, we have to go report back to the doctor. Let's go elevator up here. I'm curious what we're looking at. Hi, Rise. Thanks again. Commonwealth ain't safe. Okay. There we go. Now you go to Starlight? Okay. Uh, we'll go check here first. We won't sleep. We'll run over to Starlight. Uh, once you've scratched your curiosity. Yeah, go check out the curiosity over here. I gotta see what this place looks like. Whoa! Tycon's one of the few places I feel safe. Deacon? Good old Tycon. High rise? One of the best. Yeah, look at this place. Out of order. So there's a. Oh my goodness, there's a fat man here. Hello. HQ, right? Can't take those. High rise runs a good safe house. So high rise runs this place, then I guess. It's a bull right there. Okay. Ding. Huh. Harbor, I'll take that. Order. What is down here? They haven't blockaded this area? This is the most unsettled safe house. It's actually useful to spike, uh... There's an actual useful bed upstairs? Okay. Yeah, we'll... Check back down here in a minute. But this place isn't like blocked off. Hey, nice job with H2. Thank you. For the railroads, never like, anyone could just walk up here, it feels like. It's kind of a dump. Yeah. Hiding in plain sight? More or less. More or less. Ooh, bottles. I'm talking. Like this. How's it going, Temper Shrimp? How are you doing today? Welcome back. High rise runs a good safe house. If you say so. This could use a little bit of cleaning. I mean, you could take all these, uh, technical darkness. Take all these, like, desks and whatnot that you're not using right now and just blockade the stairs down. Or the collapse down. Just to ensure no one 
except from below. This one had from HQ, right? Synth. Road. Thanks for helping us. Oh. I think there's a mini nuke in here. Jeez. You guys are dangerous. Wandering around with the mini nuke hanging out here. I think that's cement. We definitely need it. Ah, uh, so this is the bed we can use. I love old world widgets. Worth a fair amount, too. Can't use this that get in trouble. The ammo at least. Running for the railroads never dull. Oh, here we go. Bingo. Guns and bullets. You've collected an issue of guns and bullets. Ballistic weapons permanently do 5% critical damage. Guide to hunting commies. Nice. A classic addition. Very nice. They say you think there's an elevator? Here soon. Hey. Hello. Mm. It smells so different here. It smells like <gasps> freedom. Um, you think the elevator is the only point of entry, but you didn't spend too much time here? Uh, let's take a look going down, because it, it feels like you can keep going down. Our right, water already worth it. It's some great water. It feels like we should be able to get yeah, in here. Ooh! A little bit of quantum. Okay. So. It's a protectron here. How's it going, mean fella? How are you doing today? Welcome back. Long time no see. Uh, personality mode. The one and only law enforcement. The best one. Just because of the dialogue. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and we'll activate this protectron. Little bonus. Controls. Activate unit. Powering up protectron. Legendary protectron watcher. Protect now I'm tempted to kill it just so I can pick up his legendary gear. That's no good. Well, that's no good. Now I want to Mr. blow it up. Said I shouldn't say anything. Wait, why are you following me down here? You should go back upstairs, buddy. I get to blow up. Oh, we could do that. We could do that. Go back to me. Finish uh, exploring down here as much as we can first, though. There's gotta be some dirty secrets, other than us finding some pretty useful stuff down here. Yeah, it just keeps going down. This place just keeps going down and down and down. Very suspicious. Did I miss a door over here? Let's get some bobby pin. Drops. Sure. Yeah. It just keeps going down and down. Down here. Okay, this is where it's actually. No, no, it's not broken yet. It's not a dead end yet. Be soon. Not yet. Come on, Deacon. And the flames went higher? Yeah. Definitely feels like it. This is a. Uh... getting kind of suspicious down here as we just keep going further and further down. The safe house is feeling less and less safe, if I'm being honest. Oh, we 
leveled up. I keep forgetting to level up. Get nothing. Is this is where we came from. We came from here. Uh, you're guessing it's a former office building uh, or an apartment building? Yeah. Expert lock. Okay, so there's still stuff down here. This just seems weird. Ah, oh, yes, we've got a safe house up above. Okay, what about these floors? These, like, seven or eight floors I'm currently exploring. Ah, don't worry about this. There's not that they're not important. That's it. You can feel important to me, you know? He liked it. All right, Deacon's liking a snooping. It's good. Uh, disgraced, too. Uh, wouldn't be distinguished because it'd be three. Particles has an E in uh, second to last slot and has nothing else in common, so that's not it. Uh, mentioned has ED and nothing else in common, Ooh, so that's not it. Okay. Uh, forgotten has the G in slot four and the E in slot second to last. Yes. There you go. That's only safe controls, so nothing special. Deacon like that too? Good, good. So it looks like you're just breaking and entering makes Deacon happy. Oh yeah, because he's an intelligence guy, so of course. The terminal's gotta be somewhere. What are the terminals? Uh, they only rented at the top floors. Ah, room for expansion. Yeah, of course, of course. Unlock doors, unlock doors. Oh my goodness, the most secure doors possible. The thing that opens them is right next to it. Oh, this brings us to Cambridge. This brings us outside. Wait, so there's just a way in from the bottom? This is not a safe, safe house. Someone could just wander in here. The scavengers. This doesn't feel safe at all. Uh, you're good, thanks for asking. You just woke up an hour ago and you're finishing your coffee? Nice. We've been traveling for a spell. I was hoping to have some words with you. Uh, sure. Uh, what, uh, what's up? What do you want to talk about? I'm used to flying solo, but I got to admit, working with you makes me think I've been missing out. Having someone watching your back is refreshing, especially since you never know when the Institute is watching. I think he just likes that we're looting things. <laughs> I think he just likes that we're looting things. How's it going, Bamboozle? Welcome back. How have you been? Now it's totally safe. It's not like the supporters are 200 years old or more. Oh yeah, the supports. Yeah, it's not like they're, they're the supports are 200 years old and survived a nuclear bombardment, right? I know I'm not that it's boring, fine. right? Don't leave me hanging. Ah, hang on, man. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm in the middle of an internal dialogue here. Come on. Uh, what? You've never had a partner? Not for a long time. Besides. Oh, jeez. Um, Deacon, this is an awkward time for us to be talking. There's actually raiders downstairs. <laughs> um. Hmm. So you're doing missions for the railroad right now? Did you choose to set with them or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. We're just doing a little bit of each faction. Up in the railroad can leave you vulnerable. Now that's just annoying. You're really good at this. Too good. All right, buddy. Look alive. Hmm? So what were you saying? Deacon. I'd still like to talk, if you're interested. Uh, yeah. What's up? What do you want to talk about? I'm used to flying solo, but I got to admit, working with Especially since you. All right, always solo. You've never had a partner. Not for a long time. Besides, partnering up in the railroad can leave you vulnerable. Rude. Interrupted us. One more person who can finger you to the institute. Some people at HQ were jealous. You took the big nap, and everyone you knew is long gone. Now, hear me out on the silver lining. If a human in the railroad slips up, then they expose friends and loved ones to danger. You're safe from that. Kind of, but I didn't lose my son, uh, Jimmy Timmy. He's uh he's missing. So they, they it's a kind of sorta, uh, kind of sorta. Sure as hell wouldn't want to uh, be the guy cleaning up all these floors. True, it'd be a lot of work. There I mean, really, are. it's just barricade at the bottom, right, and then clean them up as you go. 
Nice. Uh, friends in danger. Never thought of that. Yeah, we did. Why would the people they care about be in danger? When the coursers start kicking down doors, they don't just hit railroad safe houses. Some friends and family have been known to get axed. Yeah, I know his name's Sean. Institutes motivated by vengeance. It's just a joke at this point. Faulty intel. It doesn't matter to the people left behind. It doesn't matter much to me. I'm a simp. At least that's what they tell me. So, I really don't have anything to lose. For Glory and me and the others, it's easier to dedicate ourselves to the cause. No, oh, I had no idea it was a synth. He did a great job. Uh, but yeah, no, mean fella, it's uh, it's just a joke at this point. That uh, we don't remember who our son is because it's been so long <laughs> since <laughs> since we actually started this game. Uh, be like Kratos and just call him boy. That uh, makes it a whole lot easier. <laughs> we lost our boy. Uh, oh, you're a synth? That's interesting. No idea. Wait, what? You're a synth? Why didn't you tell me before? I don't like talking about it. I was one of the first synths they did the whole cranium reboot on, so it was a bit of a botched job. Ah. Most synths have fun fake memories. A happy home. A family. Me? I got nothing. And that? Well, it does something to you. Since we're traveling together, I want you to take this. It's my recall code. Huh? If you ever need to know something about the Institute, read it to me. Whoa. What? What's the recall code do? That's the safety net the brain docs put in. An ejector seat to bring back your old synth self. I don't know for certain, but I imagine it's a big old wad of trauma and cupcakes. Except with no cupcakes. Don't use the code unless you absolutely have to. It'll wipe my memories. I'm not sure how much of me will even be left. You know, I'd just feel better if you didn't read it until you need it. Um, yeah, I won't, but uh, you kind of gave it to me kind of early. We must have really given him a great impression. Holy, are you serious? This is the elevator we used to get up there. You can literally go from the bottom floor to the top floor. This place is not safe at all. This this place this place is not safe at all. Why would they call this safe? It's locked? I mean, maybe. But I mean that hasn't stopped me getting into buildings before. Right, angle up, let's get let's get up and go. Uh, Deacon got his, uh, chemo patient disguise on. I mean, he's, uh, he's doing a pretty good job. Oh, yeah, that's right. We turned on the legendary robot. Yes, you're right. I turned on the legendary robot. Which I'm, like, super tempted to blow up. But I now, like, feel like I should leave it there, you know? I feel like I need to leave it there. Both the elevator went offline. Uh, you would want an alternate exit besides gravity. I... Yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't argue with that logic. That's a, it's pretty sound logic right there. True. Uh, did you get to the point where five to seven years since you started to search for him? Uh, what are we at? We're on year uh, twenty-two eighty-eight. So yeah, it's, it's been a while since we've seen Sean. It's been a while since Timmy has been on our arms. Actually, it's been technically two hundred something years since Timmy was in our arms. Technically. So wife is holding him. How's it going, Finey? How are you doing today? The largest part of the safe house, the safety, is its secrecy. Uh, not necessarily its layout. Yeah, true. I, I just worry, like, if I was in that safe house, I would worry because, you know, if there was someone just snooping around to loot stuff, they would just swing on by and be like, wait a second, there's a lot of noise up here. I hear people. Maybe I should go back to town and let them know what I found. And, you know, you hire a couple, of, like, a mercenary or two to go and help clear out the, uh, the area of raiders, because there's it's probably a raider den, but they have a whole bunch of loot, so you want to go get that. Turns out it ends up being the uh, the railroad. I'll take that. Yeah. What quest are you doing? Uh, we are on... Uh, we need to go back to let them know that we dropped off um, H222. And let them know that we dropped off H222. We gotta go back to the railroad. Um, but right now we're gonna go ahead and save Starlight. Yeah. Yeah, Starlight's right on that one. We need to go save Starlight from being attacked and also give ourselves a good night's sleep because, jeez, look at how much action points we just do not have right now. We're missing a lot of action points right now. Uh, 
uh, didn't sleep while you're at a Tycon scene. Yeah, I decided not to because I don't want to pass too much time because I'm worried about uh, I'm worried about our main base being attacked. Makes me nervous. what the Brahmin's doing, but the Brahmin's doing what the Brahmin does. And do those bodies ever disappear? Do those bodies ever clear up? It's kind of hard to look at them all the time. Blood leaf? How's it going, Specs? How are you doing today? Welcome back. Uh, what all factions have you met so far? Uh, we've met the Railroad, Minutemen, uh, Brotherhood of Steel, um... I think that's it. I think those are all the factions we found so far. You can throw them in the river. Ah, smart man. Smart man. Yeah, we can go ahead and throw them in the river. Clever girl. Eat them to the sharks. Yeah, that's probably it so far. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's as far as we've gotten. And then on the main storyline, we have to go and uh, kill a Corsair at, C at the CIA. Or CIT. Yeah, yeah Commonwealth uh, Institute of Technology, the CIT. Alright, get ready. We're coming into a war zone. It's gonna be hot. Fit phasers to murder. Where are the enemies at? Didn't say success yet, so there's still someone lying around somewhere. If you ain't been up to see Gregor, we should go. Oh, Probably in an area where the we don't actually have turret coverage. We don't have turret coverage here. I should probably stick a turret over here. Get to the high ground. Huh? What? There we are. Oh my goodness, can I actually hit the broadside of a barn? That was not safe. Oh my goodness, what was I thinking? That was dangerous. Uh, but yeah, I need to get uh, that turret there just couldn't aim over here, so I need to get some more turrets on this side. Bunker. Some baton. Unrusted tin can? Whoa, where'd you find that? Also, it doesn't look like we've cleared them all yet, so there's still, there's probably some on the backside too. We should have some turrets over there, I'm sure. It's funny you just quit Fallout 4 because you were bored and you're watching someone else play it. Hey, okay, there you go. Well, you know, sometimes you just need to get a different perspective on what's going on, or just whatever you were currently working on wasn't grabbing your attention anymore. It happens. So we do have turrets to cover this side. It's just that side, that mountain over there, we just don't have any turrets truly covering. Okay. Did it say we defended it? I don't... I didn't see the pop-up. Nope, there they are. They're shooting up front again. Oh, the missile launchers are going crazy right now. Hey, you got the last one? Hey, nice. Oh, nice. Perfect. Guard, post my sunglasses. Post my sunglasses got me nervous for a second there. So, Junk Dog was over here. Junk Yard Dog. Find the bodies. Ah. Laser pistol, huh? Alright, cleared and done. We can go ahead and drop off everything here and go from there. Yeah, we've got a few... We have one or two power armor frames kind of lying around over at our workshop. Uh, we need to get our uh, upper floors done on the build here. We really need to get the... Uh, well, we need to get the second floor done sooner than later. But once we get the third floor done, we'll get the garage in. Uh, and that's when we'll get all these power armors set up with individual power armor types. We'll go from there. Beacon's looking snazzy. Uh, let's go sleep first before we go do anything else. Is anyone in our bed? I bet someone is. Yeah, of course. Someone's always in our bed. Uh, I should probably put another bed down somewhere where, like, 
where really no one can get to. Ever since I put in these stairs, people actually get there. Well, actually, technically, there's three sets of stairs here. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll put it up on the uh, the wing here. It'll make it tough for them to get to. They can still walk here, but hopefully putting the bed here will make it a little more difficult for them. So I don't have to go and constantly contest where I'm going to sleep. Sleep for seven hours. Go from there. Uh, the opposite is true for you. Uh, Fortune Zelda got you in the mood for playing Fallout 4. Uh, you made a pretty decent settlement in Starlight. Uh, attempt to put it on Discord. Yeah, check it in Discord. Yeah. All right. We got lethargy, funnily enough. But uh, our fatigue's sorted, so that's weird. But hey, you know, as, as you do. Uh, use some antibiotics to get rid of that. Go ahead and drink up. I'm kind of surprised you're actually working on the power station. Here we go. Yeah, if there's nothing in the settlement inventory, uh, you don't need to help defend it. Uh, so Starlight might be the only one you need to defend. Yeah, I think it's the only one I'd have to run back and actually truly help. Alright, munch munch done. There we go. Uh, we'll want to pick up some more stuff to crunch on, of course. Uh, we could do a little more building if we wanted to, but yeah, we only have we only have the first floor done. We've got a second, third, and fourth floor, as you can see from our elevator here, uh, in the works for the build. Uh, do you have the DLC? Yeah, we got the DLCs. Yeah, yeah. Thing Gunners making uh, their own tin cans, apparently, right? It's the uh, opposite of Fallout New Vegas, where you're able to, uh, where the gun runners, um, you could buy tin cans from them to turn into ammo. Yeah, so we've got our upstairs farm here. It's kind of frozen. Don't know what's going on there. We got our we got our upstairs uh, farm, which will turn into like a hydroponic farm, or is essentially it's just an indoor grow farm. So it's a greenhouse. Um, we'll eventually go ahead and we'll remove the farm out here because we won't need it anymore. Um, inside the main entrance here, let's go ahead and get rid of that radiation. This is only here just for us. We don't. We'll, we'll remove this arch at some point. Um. But quick tour for you. We've got the gun shop. The gun shop here. And then uh, her house is upstairs. That's where she lives. Up here. Uh, her place is the most flushed out so far. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Uh, the uh, general store doesn't have anything on the shelves yet. We haven't gotten all the doodads down yet. Uh, clinic is across the way. Same thing. We need to go get that set up. Uh, we've got the clothing store here. Same thing. No mannequins or anything set up. Uh, and then we've got the armor over here. Same thing. Nothing set up yet. Then we just have uh, some general activities in the center. Uh, we've then got a... we got our bar over here. I feel as though I still need another like couple more beds here. Or a uh, couple more... Um... Like, place to actually sit and chill. There you go. Curious hanging out. She made it back. Uh, oh yeah, there's no robot in chat. we got no robots in chat. None, not one. So there's no excitement mark commands. No, no bang commands. Um, but followers you can get by clicking on your name, which is cool. Uh, so Sra, for example, uh, November 8th. November 8th. So, month and a half. Almost. I uh, got the indoor grow. I uh, need the LED lights in there. Yeah, we're gonna have to put the roof in. Once we get the roof in there, we can get that going. Yeah, so we got Kiri over here. Uh, but I think we need, like, maybe one more, maybe two, two more, uh, tables here, maybe? And then the bar is more or less done. I think we need a little more on the walls. Still look a little barren. Might get another one of these paintings. I like that painting. Uh, then we've got the, uh, our, our Doom water source down here. Oof. Gross. Rats. Um... We got our water source down there so we can get our dirty water whenever we need it. And then we got the bunkhouse, which is gonna this will be changed. Slowly that bunkhouse will be removed. Uh, as we get space for everyone to get all their houses built. Uh, let's go ahead and let's dump our junk. Dump junk. Um, let's see here. Do we have anything else we want to drop in here? No mods. That's good. Let's go drop our ammo in the ammo box. Weapon. Knife, blade, resistance rifle. I don't know why I'm carrying that. 
No. Uh, ammunition. We're just gonna drop all the ammunition in here for now. We'll end up selling the ammunition later. Um, go junk swords. We've got misc, and then we have aid. Let's go deal with the aid. So that's the big one. We're gonna need some more aid. Uh, some aid we should probably drop. Oh yeah, we also actually need to drop this piece here. It weighs what two? It's not heavy, but we should drop. Um, antibiotics, let's go ahead and grab another three, so we're back up to five. Uh, we can go drop that, we don't need that. Uh, buff out, we can drop three, we only need five on hand. Drop the corn cram. Uh, great mentats, I want to carry all of it with us. I, I really don't want to drop it. It's not worth it. Hubflower, Hubflower should not be placed in this cabinet. I should not have Hubflower in here. I've got two in here, too. Uh, do we have whiskey in here? I, don't, I think we're completely out of whiskey. We should go swing by the bar real quick and buy some whiskey. Yeah, we got a bunch of wine, but no whiskey. Well, that's no good. Stick, read. It's fine. Mentes is fine. Meat we will cook eventually. Here's a drop. Nukas. We'll drop these nukas. Meat. Radex. We'll drop six. Right away, we we'll drop two. Stick we'll hold on to. Okay, we don't need any more robot kits, which is great. Definitely lighten our load. Stealth boys don't need that. Uh, Zeta, do you have any to your armor uh, with the sharp modifier? No, I don't think I have any with the sharp modifier. Uh, bolstering, cunning, cunning, destroyers, fortifying, legend. No. Nope, nothing with cunning. Uh, with the uh, sharp, rather. What does the sharp modifier do? Is it uh, thorns, like damage back? Um, in the base building uh, mechanic in V Rising, you can uh, designate doors that your followers won't open. Oh, that's cool. So you can build rooms that won't be uh, inconveniently occupied. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. They tried uh, to make use of the neon signs. Yeah, you know what, Bamboos? That's not a bad idea. We could take some uh, neon signs and get those in the uh, in the bar. We've got some out front, I thought, uh, but we don't have any inside. I think we because we have the we got the open sign here. Uh, we do need to hook up uh, electricity. It's not neon signs. We just have signs. Yeah, there's no neon signs in here. We can use some neon signs. Let's take a quick look here. Uh, do we have neon signs we can grab? Uh, what are the what would those be under? Decorations, wall decorations, right? Uh, miscellaneous. Some <laughs> boat stuff. Um, paintings, creatures, flags, posters. Yeah, it's not posters. What's that with a jukebox? Juke and live. The juke and live poster here. That fits. The life of the party. It's so got our juke and lab box right here. What's the kid one? Mr. Pebbles. Get a Nuka Cola poster, I guess. Nah, I don't really know where I want to put what that. I mean, that one fit pretty well over there. Oh, it gives charisma. The shark gives charisma. That'd be useful. Oh, it's a different style. I see. It's the lights coming down to it as opposed to it being some sort of neon setup. Um, definitely get some more paintings if you're in here if we want. Um, hard part is which paintings, yeah? I mean, this one was obvious, right? <laughs> For a bar, that was an obvious one. Uh, where are the neon signs under? Just lettering. Is it under just signs? These are just strictly signs. Drugs. Well, oh, actually. Put this by the clinic. Oh, drugs. 
lobster roll, gun shop, ice cream, prizes, danger. Clean, caution, construction site, all the material. It's especially here. Hmm. Oh my goodness, why are they not uh, looking right at us? Drugs, police. Rent locksmith saloon, sale, stationery, bakery, candy books. We already got the floats and waffles. Yeah, we already got those up there. Hot dogs. There's a bathroom signs. Nose. Place just washing hands. Yeah, so there's nothing else in science we can really play with. That was useful, though. We did find an extra one. It's nice. Uh, power? Yeah, we're gonna need to go and string power over here for sure. We haven't done that yet, but we're gonna have to string power over to the facilities. Um, so if you want to make a room uh, that won't be uh, accessed by settlers, uh, you need to either make the room somewhere accessible only by elevator, or just use a switch-activated door. Oh, uh, okay, because they can't use elevators or switch doors. That's good to know. Okay. Make a vision board with signs? I mean, we could do it, because I think we get all the letters in here, right? Yeah, we can make a vision board. <laughs> that feels like too much effort, though. No, we're not, we're not going to do that, but we could. Uh, displays. Oh, we can get some armor racks, actually. Let's get some armor racks set up here. Uh, we should at least get some of these set up. Uh, this is a clothing store, so we should have the men's and women's sections. Um, let's just go ahead and get a uh, couple male mannequins over here. We need a couple female mannequins over here. We'll need to get a shelf to display cases. Not exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for shelves. Uh, which would probably be what in furniture storage? Containers. Not containers. There's something else, wasn't there? Where did we get the uh, shop shelves? Oh, the shop shelves. I can't remember what that was. Hey, Vincent Ninja! Thanks for the raid. Welcome, Raiders! How's it going? We're doing a little bit of building. A little bit of building. Just a smidgen. But a tiny bit. Then we'll go right back to doing uh, a little more questing. We're doing some of the railroad quest line. Uh, Vincent, how was your stream? How'd it go? Hopefully it went well. Oh, wait, is that it? I don't know. Is, is there a cash register? I should look to see if there's a cash register in this game. If so, we should definitely get that on all of our shops. Yeah, I don't really want these. Uh, you have a shelves category uh, there in furniture? Ah, I missed that. I don't know how I missed it, but I did. Uh, is there a... No, there isn't. Okay. Shelves. Yeah, it's literally the shelves category. Look at that. <laughs> Amazing. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and get the... Uh, not this guy. Let's get this guy. This big wall shelf here. Nice and careful. There we go. Same on the side. So we can go ahead and we can put some shirts and whatnot there. I think this mannequin's too close. Yeah. Move that mannequin out of the way. Make sure we can get this. Yeah, it definitely was a mannequin. There we go. Let's go ahead and move that mannequin back. Wait, what? We're under attack. Uh oh. Where's the target? Oh, dogs. This dog got annihilated. I think there's still another one or two over there. Let's go get them sorted. Um, it was fine. Nice and steady. Nice, nice. Good. It's good to hear. Provisioner, who are you? It's a settler. I think uh, some doggos went down, yeah? Oh no, Ratstag. Oh, Ratstag, don't do mind if I do. We'll always take Ratstag does. 
Amazing that there are turrets see him as a hostile entity. It's just a deer. But hey, it gives us a really nice piece of food that lets us carry more. <laughs> that red stag doe. Exactly. Holy. Um... Who shot the car? It's a red stag head over here. Our turrets blow us up? Our turrets blew it up. Our turrets blew that up. Okay. I mean, that's one way to make sure you get the deer. Oh my goodness, this poor body's way over here. Wow. Shredded right through the deer and hit the car until it exploded. Whoops. Wait, what the... Lady over here. Well, I mean, while she's here, I'll take those. Oh my goodness, how did I miss these? I'll take those. We were just working in the clothing store. Why don't we go ahead and put some stuff on here? Uh, let's get them over here. Use apparel. Fatigues, what was it, armor fatigues and bandana? There you go. Here's one. Um, this other one. Dimmer harness. Oh, what I want. Then I took it all back. Uh, gunner harness. There you go. Um, the chest piece is armored, though. We kind of want to put that on the armor one, as opposed to the clothing store. So I guess this would go to the this would go to the armor store, right? So we want to put it over here. Uh, speaking of which, we might as well get some uh, little shelves in here too. What kind of shelves do we want to put for armor? Yeah, I think armor is going to be kind of the same deal. But we'll move it to, to where the shelves are center as opposed to the side. I really need to level up. We can do that for a while. Okay. Um, and then decorations, display, armor racks. Put the men's side over here. Put the women's side over here. What we'll probably do is we'll probably spin these mannequins around so they're actually looking outside. There we go. Uh, and then we can go ahead and get the gunner harness in piece. There we go. A little better. Perfect. These shops are starting to be a little more flushed out. The clinic still needs a little work, but hey, we'll get there, you know? How's it going, Punk Chef? How are you doing today? Good to see you. A lot of blood pressure in their heads. The red stangs? Yeah, must be. <laughs> For to do that, goodness. Uh, you posted in Discord. Uh, it may not be. Uh, it might not be made of. Uh, it may not be no concrete fortress, but it's home. This concrete fortress feels so cozy. It's a cozy concrete fortress, that's for sure. Let's go drop off this piece of uh, armor. Make sure we get rid of that uh, radiation we picked up. And we just have so much more building. We really need to get done. So much more building needs to be done. Alright, that's done. Uh, let's see here. It's looking good. A little barbecue pit here. Might want to move the fish over a little. I really can't move it over much, can I? I really would like to slide this underneath the grill. But it's not something we can do. We found a mod that adds a lot of new mutant creatures. Oh, and some more funky. Oh, I bet. <laughs> but that's awesome. Okay. Get a little more uh, variety compared to like the, what, five or six of some mutated creatures. Go ahead and get some more water here. We're thirsty. Let's get some more water. Okay. Uh, one thing we do need to do is we definitely need to go get ourselves some bottled water. We're incredibly low on bottled water. 
Purified water. That's a good one. Only 24? Right, I'm gonna take all of it. We got 24 on hand. I'll take all of it. Um, is there anything else we wanted to do here before we get up and go? I don't think so. Uh, we defended it from the attack. We did a little bit of building. Um, let's go ahead and sleep our seven hour. Oh, you know what? Let's level up first. Level up, sleep, go on the quest. Let's get that done. We got two levels. We got two levels to put in. There we go. Managed to get 36 settlers in your largest settlement. Wow, that's pretty impressive. The spiders are terrifying. Oh, I bet they are. Radioactive spiders? I mean, pfft. I saw Spider Man. Tasty mutated deer. I mean, you know, it's uh, it's mutated in all the right places, Bamboozle. It's mutated in all the right places. Um, put something on uh, a rug and move the rug. Then you move the rug and said item will be on the spot you want. Oh, okay. Okay, so you can you we can use a rug to sneak it underneath the uh, grill. Okay. Something we can look at when we come back to it. It's good to know. What do we need to put our points in? That's one of the things. We've got, like, so many, like, we're level 76. I mean, come on, right? Like, I don't know what else to put our points into here. Uh, what were we working on? We recently got Aqua Boy and Chem Resistant. I mean, actually, we just put one point in here. We're just flat out immune to chemical addiction. That would stop us from having to carry any of the uh, chem addiction removal items in aid, and also would save us a little bit too. More charisma, get off the Mentats. True, we could just get pure charisma. But charisma is only six. The Mentats are a huge help, we need them. Let's get Party Boy, Inspirational, and see more damage combat and cannot hurt you. Oh, well, that would be nice. Stop shooting me in the back. Can't be harmed by your attacks. Oh, that's really nice. And some carry more items. Okay, interesting. I'm so inspired, I can carry an extra 30 pounds. Uh, we send Whisper and Intimidation. Yeah, which are, these These are fine. Those perks are fine. Nothing I'm too excited about, but they're they're fine. The Great Men Tats, uh, I mean, getting to save these perk points. True. I mean, I'll, if we get one perk point in uh, Chem Resistant, then we can just use the Great Men Tats with Impunity. Honestly, you'd up agility or endurance. Um, why so for uh, endurance? Is there a perk in here we could get that'd be useful? Yeah, we could end up getting the Adamant 10 Skeleton. That'd be pretty good. Make it so we don't take limb damage at all. We end up being immune to limb damage. That could be useful. Inspiration can allow companions to mini, -nu mini nuke you with no damage. I mean, that's kind of cool. Because we can mini nuke ourselves. Um, quick hands could be useful, at least the first point in it. The, uh, second and third points, not so much, but one point in quick hands is nice. In combat, there's no time for, uh, to hesitate. You can reload all guns faster. It's kind of nice. Better endurance equals more sprinting. More sprinting equals getting around more. I mean, that's a really tempting, uh, argument right there. That's a strong argument. Yeah, you run a strong bargain there. You do, you do. I also am tempted to get Lead be Belly, but the fact we need to get three points in Lead Belly to make it so we don't take any radiation is a bit much. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get Chem Resistant at, at least. I do want to get Chem Resistant, just so we don't have to deal with Chems, uh, to Chem Addiction. And it'll save us carrying capacity. We don't have to worry about that anymore, so that's good. Um, if you get like 21 or so Endurance, you can run forever. That's tempting. Uh, it affects your hit points and action point drain while uh, from sprinting. Yeah, we can get another point of endurance. Let's go up our endurance. We can get it from five to six. Nice. All right, now we'll sleep so we can set that in stone. Get our save in here. Since it is survival difficulty, it only saves when we sleep. Plus Solar 2 is pretty good, uh, pretty nice for dealing with rads. Should take a look at that. Um, arched. Uh, so what is it? And then High Endurance plus Action Boy rank 3 from Agility Tree is Marathon Runner. Action Boy. Oh yeah, because you regenerate 75% faster. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. 
Solar powered? Solar powered two? Oh, sunlight still heals your radiation damage. Oh, that's pretty cool. Sunlight restores your lost health. Wow, just being outside is nice. Huh. That belly not as useful as it sounds, because you can uh, get sick from eating and drinking radioactive water and food. Wait, really? Oh, that's true, yeah. You can get, um... Uh, you can get parasites. It's true. Well, that's not helpful. All right, let's go back on to the good old quest hunting here. We'll come back and we'll do more building later. We're kind of doing do it in stints. Uh, real quick here, how close are we to capping our items? Not that far. We still some space. All right, let's go ahead and let's grab a ride. A little far away. I'd rather use a vertebrate to get there, since we can't fast travel. Go ahead and add that vertebrate. So what time is it? It's uh, about noon. Really? Crazy. It's... It's almost... Oh, no, no. It's almost midnight. Never mind. Reading that backwards. Reading that backwards. Like, PM? What? Wait a second. That make any sense. How's it going, Rob Man? How are you doing today? Captain's Log? Ah, oh, Captain's Log. If you get to uh, Charisma 9 and get the Wastelander Whisperer, uh, you can get a pet Deathclaw to settle with. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's right, because we can play with the traps. It's true. Uh, more Endurance is better than Action Boy for the purpose of sprinting. And no Vats uh, means AP Restoration uh, generally isn't important. True. Uh, just using less action points when sprinting is more useful than regenerating action points faster. True. true. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do a captain's log as soon as we, uh, as soon as we land, because it's a long ride. And they talk from time to time. Noxious. So where's this railroad other entrance? Ah, it's indoors, that's why. Welcome aboard, Knight. Aha, I see. You had a thought? Brahma can carry so much and can move so quickly. Why don't people just ride them? That's... That's a good question. Um, why is it that people don't ride bulls? Um, is it just because horses are flat, flat out just better, or is there like a specific reason as to why people don't ride on cattle? What on earth is going on with the world over there? <laughs> loading out, loading in. Does anyone know? Like, were there, was there, like, a group of people that rode cows? Is that a thing? Bulls are uncooperative? Yeah, that kind of makes sense. They're just like, get off me, what are you doing? I'm still. Uh, have you seen someone try to, uh, tried to ride a bull? I mean, I'm sure that, like, if you bred them, right? Yeah, rodeos are a thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, if you, like, bred them to be more docile, right? I'm sure you could, like, breed them to the point in which... They'd be fine with you sitting on them, yeah. Um, I guess a follow-up question then would be like, uh, generally you can only ride horses and mules. What about like alpacas and llamas? Are they not strong enough to carry a human? Riding them would be uncomfortable. True, they're quite wide. <laughs> so it would be pretty uncomfortable. Cows are slow and very and not very graceful. Uh, and they have a weird, uncomfortable gait. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, well, I know that the whole bull in a china shop thing is, uh, total garbage, because a bull won't knock over stuff in a china shop. Uh, but the gate could definitely be a thing. That would make sense. Llamas are fine. You do better with llamas, camas, alpacas than cows. That makes sense. That makes sense. And with all three of those, you're kind of looking at them more like mules well, than you are. Well, camels and horses are kind of closer. Because uh, there was camel cavalry. That was the thing. I don't think there was ever llama cavalry. <laughs> I don't know if there, if there ever was a uh, an instance of the cavalry arriving on llamas or alpacas. Um, but, oh, you're still here? I can't interact with them. I don't know why he's still here. The lookout should move over where the USS Constitution is. 
Way up there. Weird. Yeah, officer. Uh, you're talking about Fallout's Brahmin, which carries so much. Uh, when I build a platform on our backs. Oh, that'd be pretty interesting. Just like a like a huge platform on the back of a Brahmin. I can see that working. Yeah, I can see that working. Uh, some places ride water buffalo and yaks, uh, but they're not optimal. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> Bye. That was the thing. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Put the little hand cannon back out. We are still low on ammo for this sucker. Nothing in the vending machine, so sad. I hear a vertebrate. I want to get inside quickly. That's the lock side. I do not like the idea of a vertebrate floating over my head, because they, uh... They land on it, unfortunately. In a fiery explosion, usually. <laughs> uh, you can't ride big cats, for instance, uh, because of how their spines work and such. Oh, interesting. Uh, it, it, it's just because it's too flexible. It's not uh, sturdy enough to hold the weight. That'd be crazy, though. Like, someone actually like, walking... Someone walking down the street riding their lion. You know? Just casually, and just, just riding my line to work. <laughs> oh my goodness, that'd be terrifying. It's like, hey, you uh, using this parking spot? No, 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 go for it. Does uh, so totally fine. Don't worry about it. Rides up on a lion. All right, before we go further in here, we need to do a good old cabs log. Getting like for good old Robin. Oh, unless he's gonna talk to us first. Tinker Tom's been looking for you. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Alright. I hear Gritterbird. Oh, friends. Meanwhile. <laughs> meanwhile, Zelda. Oh, no. Yep. That's exactly right. You're definitely making uh, a complaint if your co worker drives up in a, on a lion to work. Yeah, you know, it's definitely gonna turn some heads, that's for sure. <laughs> You think you got something to say? No, okay, he's good. He's good. All right, we gotta before we continue on a good old chat and continue in here. Deacon's doing laps in the meantime. He's impatient, but that's okay. He needs the exercise. We did just take a long ride, and we were just back at base, so I don't know what kind of snacks he snuck out of the uh, the good old aid box. So we've got cookies and wow, well, we've got sweet rolls. There's no cookies in this game, sadly enough. There's cakes, there's pies, pristine pies, but there's no cookies in this game. Truly really disappointing. Um, but Captain's Log, start date, 529, 2288. We started our day off, like most days, at Starlight. We pulled ourselves together, moved on over to go complete another railroad quest, got good old Deacon on our side as our main companion, defended Starlight Drive-In, and now we are continuing on the good old uh, railroad quest line. We're gonna go report back to the uh, to the doctor. Let him know that we took care of the package problem. Good old H two dash twenty two. See if he's got another quest for us. Something a little more challenging, let's say. And log. Um. All right. What do you got here, mean fella? Uh, it's not just that. Cattle are slow but incredibly strong. So a bull will pull more weight but it will never be as fast as a horse. And because you can uh, eat cattle, uh, you won't even want uh, the muscles and tendons to develop to the point. Oh yeah, there's almost no uh, no amount of cooking that'll ever make the meat tender. Uh, didn't ever wonder why, uh, didn't ever wonder why you can buy salami and sausages that have horse meat in them, but you can't buy a horse steak. Oh, interesting. <laughs> salami, salami and sausage has what? Horses. I mean, I guess that makes sense. You know, the the horse lived its whole life. You know, it uh, went out to pasture, but uh, why bury it when uh, someone's willing to eat it? Yeah. Um, one of these days I'll probably eat horse, but I've not eaten horse yet. 
I also haven't eaten, like, uh, I haven't eaten snake or alligator yet either. I would like to try them at some point. We'll get around to it somewhere. Uh, why does that make sense? And don't throw away resources that could be consumed. That's all. Uh, you gotta go to bed, but you recommend uh, Tinker's Quest? Uh, they're great for sightseeing, and there's ten of them. Ten! Whoa, okay. We'll go do that. Uh, you know you've eaten horse? It's alright. Kind of dry. Okay. Interesting. Horse is great meat. I mean, horse is not readily available around here. It's, uh, you'd have to, like, go out of your way to get it. I've eaten ostrich. I've eaten ostrich before. Uh, I have eaten ostrich. But, um, I've eaten ostrich. I've eaten buffalo. Um, I don't think I've eaten elk for some reason. I don't know why. No, no, I've had elk, but I haven't had venison. I haven't eaten deer. I don't know. One of these days, we'll get around to it. It's just, you know, it all comes down to, like, what meat is, like, easy to come by. I don't want to go out of my way to go grab it, you know? But the ostrich was the one that threw me for a loop. You're just walking along, you're like, wait, I'm sorry, what did that sign say? Ostrich, all right. I'm, like, so curious as to where they got it. Like, where do you get ostrich meat in California? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, alligator's pretty good? I've heard good things about alligator. I've heard it's pretty good. Uh, there is a non-zero chance you've eaten horse. Yeah, it's entirely possible. I might have. I might have. If it was in, like, Mystery Salami. Who knows? If it was a salami made of just, like, aggregated meats. Uh, you've eaten horse uh, meat burgers. Uh, it was a semi-regular thing in your homestead back then. Uh, in your household back then. Uh, when your stepfather was still alive. Oh, okay. So it was, like, a normal thing. I mean... But Dalka also, like, as I was saying earlier, it comes down to kind of, like, regions and where you are. I imagine, like, because, uh, Dalka, you're in Alberta, right? I'm trying to remember. You're in Alberta? Is that right? Because uh, if so, then that would kind of make sense, because that's, you know, farm country. And you're, you're, out, you're out in the farm territories. Uh, Quebec. Ah, jeez, I'm way off. Quebec isn't even close to Alberta. You've got Saskatchewan between you two. Uh, darn. Don't know why you started eating horse meat? Huh, I don't know. You hear ostrich eggs are filling? Ostrich eggs are huge! They're massive! Those things are ridiculous! They're like... <laughs> ostrich eggs are insane! They're larger than like a cereal bowl. Have you ever eaten bear? No! Has anyone in chat eaten bear before? I don't know why we're talking about random exotic meats. It's <laughs> chilling out here on the railroad. Uh, oh yeah, and Ontario. I always forget Ontario. I don't know why. I always forget about Ontario. I, which is like kind of ridiculous, because it's, you know, one of the most populated... It's what, the second most populated territory Ontario is? Isn't it like Quebec, Ontario, British Columbia, in order of population? Then I don't know after that. Then it's what, like, I think like Alberta, then Lancaster? And, um... Nova Scotia? No? I don't know. Uh, exotic meats come from exotic riding animals. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we were talking about exotic riding animals. Yeah. It's <laughs> so, like, have you eaten that before? Uh, you've heard it's very greasy? I'd imagine it would be. Lancaster? Yeah. Now, Lancaster's got to have no one over there, right? Nova Scotia probably has more people than Lancaster, right? We're, uh, we're Canadian, not English. Right? Isn't... Isn't there... Oh, wait. Is Lancaster not part of Canada? I know um, I know some of the islands aren't off the off the coast. There's like a... There's some islands that are still owned by the French. Um, Lancaster is a city in England. Wait, then... Let me pull up a map here. Hold on a second. What am I thinking of then? What's the province to, like, the far, far east? Labrador. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Um, I will explain my reasoning. My, uh... My grandmother and grandfather had a Labrador named Lancaster. <laughs> oh, I see where my brain got that one messed up. Uh, Lancaster. Uh, and Labrador. I see, I see, I see where I messed that one up. Yeah, Labrador. <laughs> Yeah, they both start with an L.A., yeah, that's true. No, no, that's that's entirely on my side, just because uh, we've got a... We've got a lab named Lancaster. 
it was one of those uh it was one of those like uh dogs that like failed the last test to being a uh being like an assistive like an assistant dog you know like a to help people that are like blind um failed the last test too sociable uh hung out with people too much would uh, would leave the owner too often so he failed uh, you're trying to get a mod that works uh, to work called Conquest, where you can build a settlement anywhere, but not all the settlement stuff is uh, is popping up. That's got to be tough. Service dog, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Bamboozle. Blanked on it for some reason. Canadian provinces by population in 2022, according to uh, Statistics Canada. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing this one. Ontario has uh, 15 million. Whoa, okay. Then Quebec, then British Columbia. Hey, at least I got the three provinces, right? <laughs> I just got them in... I got Quebec and Ontario in the wrong order. Which is actually a pretty big blunder, because 15 million to 8.6 million is a huge difference. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and let's sleep to have time pass. Let's go talk to this guy. It's a big, big difference there. Go ahead and we'll sleep our seven so we can get our bonus XP. So always love that. Um, We're running since out of the well. Wastelanders can be. A... Oh, oh, that's right. We can only do five hours. I don't have to tell me. I just, just don't give me the bonus. It's fine. That's fine. Properly hydrated. Properly fed. Good, good. Um, what kind of bear? Hey, these are good questions. Temple Chef. I don't know. I wonder how like available bear meat is. <laughs> it's like there are essentially no bear. There's only brown. Uh, there's only black bears left in California. There's some, no, there's some brown bears left in California. There's no grizzlies, those are all dead. Diamond City is under opposition control. We got rid of our st uh, the animal on our state flag. Glad you signed on. Yeah. As one does, apparently. If you can fist fight a bear, you can eat a bear? I mean, if you could do that, that'd be impressive. <laughs> Alberta has 4.5 million. Uh, oh man, I think I always mispronounce this. Is it Manitoba? Or is it Manitoba? I think it's Manitoba, right? 1.4 million, Saskatchewan, 1.2, Nova Scotia, 1 million, New Brunswick, uh, 800k, Newfoundland, 5, uh, 522k, and Prince Edward Island. Wow, Prince Edward Island has over a thousand, uh, over a hundred thousand. Appears to have been resolved. That's crazy. Well, there's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switch. Wait, he gave me bobby pins. Two safe houses. I want you to check on Augusta. Yeah, we can do that. He gave us bobby pins. What are the bobbies for? <laughs> Many tubas. <laughs> um, you pronounce it how you last said it. Okay, so um, Manitoba. Not, uh, I pronounce the O as an O as opposed to a U. Uh, Nova Scotia, yeah, yeah, Nova Scotia literally means in Old Latin, New Scotland, which is funny. And Newfoundland is uh, named after Foundland, which uh, isn't Foundland uh, in, like, the Netherlands? Am I crazy on that one? Isn't Foundland in the Netherlands? So Newfoundland is like that? Just kind of like how New Good Jersey life. in the Let's waste in the United States, time, the state of New Jersey is off of the is uh, named after the island of Jersey. That's a protectorate of the crown, but isn't part of the UK? Question mark. It's a weird situation. It's a tax haven island. That's all I know. Uh, that's like right off the coast. Well, not right off the coast, but it's closer to France than it is England. Anyway, more safe houses in trouble. Delight. The safe houses are in trouble too? I thought only the switchboard was attacked. Ah, the Institute didn't content itself with just destroying our headquarters. No. They launched simultaneous strikes on all we hold dear. Herkimer and Alan safe Simultaneous, wait a second. Kills. Many fear Augusta will be added to that list. If they're simultaneous attacks, that means that then you've got a mole somewhere. There's no way they'd be able to do it otherwise. You never heard of Foundland? Ah, oh, we're gonna have to go and Google it. How bad did the Institute hurt us, Doc? Frankly, we're lucky there's a railroad left at all. I don't remember a time our numbers have been so few. Hello there. But the mission carries on. Hmm. How's it going, Wartree? Welcome back. Good to have you. Isn't Newfoundland literally just named that because it was a newfound land? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's spelt that way. I don't know. Um... 
You've only had brown bear? Uh, you don't like the Please, steak, but I you love the roast. Interesting, okay. To? Uh, tell me more. Tell me about we'll get through this dialogue here real quick. The dead drop. Have a care. Odds are very good you're walking into something nasty. That's fine. I got a hand cannon on me. We're good. Don't you worry about a thing. Yeah, where's the um, where's the other exit here? They said there's another way that's faster. We should probably figure out where that extra one is. Where's the where's the other exit? Is it down here. Oh, it's a free mattress there. Amaranth's. Try water. That's claw hand. Okay. Let's get up and out of here and I'll jump back to reading chat. Guess this is the door? Oh, escape tunnel. There it is. Oh, talk to Tinker Tom. Let me go turn back around. Good call. Good call. Right, we gotta go talk. Look alive. Yeah? Nope. 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 Let me go. Why don't you talk to me so much? So then, okay. So let's 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 circle back on the conversation here. Um. Nah. Um. I want to circle back. What is the most exotic meat people in chat have eaten? Or maybe just exotic food in general. I don't know. Uh, Pam might also have a mission for you. Oh, okay, so we need to talk to Pam. Oh, they've got noodles. We talk to Pam, and we need to talk to Tom too. All right, we'll go talk to him real quick. Real quick. Unicorn? Wait. He who must not be named. Is that you? Confirmed. Agent Bullseye has arrived. I have a mission for you. Without increasing efficiency of synth traffic flow, odds of entire organization being compromised increase daily. Hmm. Solution. A new distribution center needs to be established. Okay, meaning? A distribution center? What's that? The railroad organization calls distribution centers <laughs> safe houses. Okay, yeah. A place where synths are stored and then reroute it safely through the region known as the Commonwealth. Mission details commencing. Pacify the target location. Fortify position to protect current and future railroad assets. New distribution center will be codenamed Mercer Safe House. Good luck. Okay, so set up a safe house. I see. All right, we can do that. That can be done. Cougar, really? You've eaten cougar? Black sea shark, crazy. Uh, for me, it's uh, as I've mentioned before, it's ostrich. I, I haven't had anything more exotic than ostrich, which is exotic over here because it's like they don't roam over here. Uh, Dez has given me clearance to set up my atmospheric sensors. Finally, I can prove that the institute is terraforming the Commonwealth. Eat that, Carrie. <laughs> Why? Wait, what? Why? Why would the institute terraform the Commonwealth? It goes back to the big war. Who set off the first A bomb? The Institute did. They started the whole war to kill everyone except their own diabolical scientists. Okay, and why terraform? But what's that have to do with terraforming? Everything, man. You see, humanity didn't kick the bucket like they planned. We're still hanging on. So first step, artificial people come to infiltrate, spy, and salvage the metric tons of gizmos they need. And once they get all the parts they need, whammo! The big atmospheric converter inside Blake Tower starts spewing poison into the stratosphere to kill every last one of us. Hey, um... Give me details. So my <laughs> sense, I call Amila, needs to be up high, real high. Dez forced me to put some cameras and, you know, other low-tech surveillance crap on it to watch the Freedom Trail. Chuck that stuff if you need to. Like, <laughs> you know, who couldn't spoof a conventional camera, right? Say, what's up with the cameras? We need cameras watching the trail? Look, I engineered the trail markers and code phrase myself. So anybody comes looking for us, whammo, spotted a mile away. Sure, the cameras could add a little insurance, but discovering the truth about the Institute's real plan is way more important. <laughs> I got the perfect spot picked out. Set Mila up and let the juicy data pour in. All right, we can do it. Oh, it's got a little iBot. Aw, cute. That's adorable. Oh, look at that thing. All right, Tom, you got it, sir. You're on it. The importance of Bunker Hill and our asset there is not widely known. Please keep it that way. Yeah, can't do no problems. 
Things are quiet for now. All right, let's head out of here. So apparently you were right about uh, Newfoundland. When King Henry VIII learned about the discovery, he said Newfoundland, or Newfound, Newfoundland. <laughs> it's an E at the end. And it just stuck as the official name is Newfoundland. Interesting. Huh. Did you speak with Pam? Yeah, we spoke with Pam. We now have a uh, Mercer safe house we need to go put together. Mind if I do. Some good old sewer pork and beans. Mm -mm -mm. Can to survive an apocalypse. Or two. Uh, do you have all the DLCs? Yeah, we got all the DLCs. How's it going, Cyber? Welcome back. How have you been? Old strong fashion? Yeah. Well, that'll be tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be doing more Elden Ring. Tomorrow's more Elden Ring. Let's go take a look in here. Same old. That's good to hear. Hopefully you're having fun in, uh, what is it? Uh, oh, today is the first day of winter. Oh, boy. I just, uh, just turned over to the first day of winter today. Mila is a, uh, semi-radiance, uh, technically radiance, but there's limits. Okay. So, uh, and as such isn't necessary but uh, they do take you to interesting locations. Oh, I see. Okay. I see. So it's just to, just to get us to go and find things. I gotcha. Uh, we got three real requests. Yeah, we got three of them to do. You're going to go crash? <laughs> All right. Sleep well, Magic Spud. Good having you in chat. We'll see you next time. Again, we'll be playing Elden Ring tomorrow and the day after. Uh, let's see. We'll go with resources. Ooh, four. Close. Not quite. Felt about it. So then, what? Reverence is uh, one, two, only two in common. So that is no. Uh, this only has the S in final slot. This has first, second, and second to last slot. So it's only three in common. So it's still a no. Dangerous it has only the S and R in common. Only two slots. So that's a no. Attackers, let's see here, has nothing in common. So that's not it. Uh, bartering is the R in common. So it's a new. Uh, dethroned as E in slot two, E in slot second to end, but nothing else. Wait, what? How did I, I must have missed something. I must have missed one, what? Remove one dead, please. Or, okay, give us a try back. <laughs> um. Because there's four in common, but I haven't found anything else with four. Dangerous has an R and an S in common. Renovated has R, E. O. The O is in common. That's it. Aha. Aha. We got it. I missed the O. <laughs> the Sol yeah, the Solstice is instant for like almost a whole day from right now. True. So technically, it's not the first day of uh, of winter yet. You got me there. Tis true. Jump on the gun. I'm just excited. That looks technical. <laughs> uh, yep. Yes, it is. But you liked it. And that's what matters. I like how most of the companions we've had following us like it whenever we like bust open to a place. Like, hey, are we breaking and entering? Sick. <laughs> Door access, unlock door. No, oh, don't lock door. Oh, okay, unlock door. North end. Do you still think it's kind of weird having the winter uh, season start at the solstice? I mean, yeah, but we need something to like be able to mark the day, right? <laughs> Make it so we always know. No. It should be midwinter. Definitely feels like it. That's one of the things is like um, 
fall is very bizarre. Because over here, the beginning of fall has the hottest weather in the year, and the end of fall has some of the coldest weather in the year. Not necessarily the coldest, but it has the hottest weather in the year uh, is at the beginning of fall. And at the end of fall, it gets to freezing. <laughs> so so within the, within the span of fall, it'll go between like 105 on the high end. Or 14 this year, which is crazy. Broke, the, broke records. Um, all the way down to freezing. <laughs> kind of bizarre. Take that. All right, uh, which quest do we want to do? I have a few. What's this one? This one is to go to the dead drop. I mean, we should probably just do the main quest first. Just go do that bad boy first. A quick, easy way across. Yeah, I've got a nice porch over here. But yeah, no, so I see what you mean. Kind of makes sense. More sense if it was about mid... mid-season. A mop. I don't know how someone gets a mop inside of one of those, uh... Um, uh, letter boxes. I don't know how you actually manage to get that in there. It's, it's impressive. That's what that is. It's, it's very impressive. Just gonna kind of weave through the city here. Whiskey! Oh my goodness, we found whiskey! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, we got some whiskey. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to buy some whiskey when we were back at... Uh, oh my goodness, we want to take a great circuit board. Thank you. Milk bottle, don't mind if I do. I forgot to pick up some more whiskey while we were at um, at town in Starlight Drive-In. I, I gotta remember for us to go and pick up whiskey from the bar, like, literally every time we're there. It's our only real limiting factor for uh, making more great Pentats, is we just don't have enough whiskey. <laughs> we, just, we just don't have enough whiskey. We'll pick up some more. Friend or foe? Friend? Uh, <clears throat> huh? <laughs> huh? What? Who? Huh? Alright. He's fine. Keep on scooting around. <laughs> Why is all the whiskey gone? I mean, these are very important questions. Because <laughs> I ate it all. Wait, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Where'd all the whiskey go? I ate it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not how whiskey works. <laughs> Clearly, just not trying hard enough. Good. We've already picked that place clean. I don't know why I keep checking. I just see a body on the ground. I'm like, loot! <laughs> Quickly, loot! Gotta do it! Loot driver, nothing. Ooh, no. There's no, um... Look for the dead drop marker. Either I'm blind or there ain't one. I don't think there is one. Determine status of the safe house. Victoria Misk. Was what, the Augusta? The up and A? My gracious, so much scrolling. It'd be really nice if there was a bar I could drag. <laughs> Augusta report. Here we go. Augusta is still dark. Location enclosed. Exercise extreme caution. Okay. Well, it's uh, gone dark. There you go. Uh, do we suddenly know where it is? We suddenly just know where it is. Nice. What's that next to? Oh, campus law. Okay. Oh, you should really archive all your misc. I really should, yeah. Really should. I need to buy whiskey every time I'm uh, I'm close to a bar. A man who definitely doesn't have a problem. <laughs> so says a man who definitely doesn't have a problem. Hey, listen. All right. At the very least, our character in Fallout Four is doing way better than our character in Fallout New Vegas. That guy was a twenty-four-seven lush. 
That guy was wasted all the time. And it had nothing to do with the fact that uh, we were constantly over encumbered. I kept looting everything. And to ensure we had the strength to be able to carry stuff home, oh, we had to drink. Can we just oh my goodness, you? Jesus, there's a bunch of them here. Oh, I can't back up here, hold on. Got a little spring in his step. Careful over there, Deacon. He's good. I just need more coffee cups. We're quite low on uh, ceramics. It's a side quest we gotta go do at some point. Oh, don't. Okay. Well. Congratulations, we have three rats. Let's just walk through the water. Okay. Push. What else to find over here? Literally every time on a rant? Jeez. <laughs> uh, just pop out. Uh, oh. Handle hospital. Uh, just pop the uh, jet out of the. Uh, yeah, out of the garbage. Yep. Uh, you can open your fit boy and cancel drinking from pedals. Oh, you can? Well, that's good to know. One thing you really don't like uh, in this game is inventory management. Yeah, I agree. The inventory management is a little obnoxious in this game. But so it is with. It's kind of hard to get away from inventory management problems with RPGs. You, you just you just have so much. But since this game does have the whole like crafting mechanic where you're like breaking stuff down into like raw components and the like, it's even more so. But it's also one of the reasons why it's like I kind of want to loot everything so I never have to like go and specifically track down one set of like ingredients. It's got nothing. Now, it's, it's, I wouldn't call this promising. Oh, yeah, safe house, you say, huh? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, ghoul with a toothbrush. Wonder if he ever used it. That's a good question. <laughs> Welcome back, Dragonheart. How have you been? Good to see you again. I mean, if you're not a loot goblin, loot management isn't an issue. I'm a loot goblin, by the way. Oh, yeah. No, the... I'm a, I am most definitely a loot goblin, for sure. I mean, you guys have seen... Luckily, we haven't had any encumbrance issues so far. I've been pretty good about keeping my inventory relatively low. I've gotten better about not looting armor and the like, just because we don't make enough caps from it. It's just not worth it. The struggle and strife. I still do loot quite a bit of... Uh, moderately needless stuff. I'm just mostly picking up lighter stuff, like the silver spoons and the like. Nice and light, not to worry too much about it. Hello. Definitely always need growing fungus. The glowing fungus is really good. Oh my goodness, jeez. When the gun comes... You heard nothing. Shoulder shot. Advanced. Uh, jet will make you jitter uh, jittery. <laughs> Indeed it will. Hydrate, you got it, bamboozle. Yeah, you have to memorize the best places for crystal fiber optics, oil, and bones. Oil luckily isn't too bad since you can make oil, um, but that's what you need the bones for, right? You need to take a year off work to catch up uh, with the games you want to play. Yo, my goodness, Punk Chef, I know. I know, right? <laughs> it's so bad. There's so many games I want to play. I mean, if you take a look at the uh, two playlists down in the um, About section, yes, those are only the ones I'm like super guaranteed I want to play. And then we then there's also the, uh, there's the Still Thinking About It list that's attached to that as well. Yeah, that. You should be. I'm sure there's plenty, plenty of other games that I'm, I can't even, I didn't even know I wanted to play. Like, there are just so many games I want to play. It's absolutely ridiculous. Unlock terminal. terminal should open this. Oh, I see. So the terminal door actually was the wrong move. Nice and quick. Very interesting. You can trust me. 
bottle. Hmm. Hope your satisfactory is satisfa uh, satisfying. I hope so too. I mean, we played. Um, I don't know what it is. Uh, we did uh, Factoria, so the you know I enjoyed Factoria, so I would, would hope. All right, so love got us halfway there. So keys, rank, kill, goes, hold, all. This key is where you went. No. No. The O, that's it. Nothing. The O. Nothing. Am I just blind? Oh, V E forgave. Oh man. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I'm just like staring at it. That was supposed to be an easy one. Whoopsie daisies. Yeah, no, this would have uh, triggered the lady that was in there. Oh. Bottle cap mines. I always feel like these bottle cap mines are just kind of in awkward places, but they never go off. I mean, now we have the perks that they don't go off, but, you know. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's pretty darn satisfactory. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, you're retired, so you don't know, uh, so you don't have time for all games, mainly due to your satisfactory addiction. Oh, no. <laughs> that, is a, that is an issue. That is one of the big problems. Is there a lot of games out there that'll sink? That you're like, ah, I'm gonna go and play through my big list of games that I want to play through. I only have 20 more games that are like that I really, really want to play, and then other ones that I'm interested in. But there's like 20 games that I really want to play. Let's jump in and play with some of those. You only start playing, and you play the first one. Hello? Shush. Recklessly. Um, you play the first one, and the first one's like RimWorld, or Satisfactory, or Hello? Nothing. Don't do that. Uh, or in any of the other games where you can just play forever. <laughs> right? You sit down, you start playing, you're like, oh, this is great, I like this game. 3,000 hours of gameplay later. Oh yeah, there were all these other games I wanted to play. You know, like it's... It, it's so tough. It's so tough. That's why, um... Any From Software game? Yeah, I mean, it, it's the reason why we set goals on this channel. <laughs> it's why we set goals on this channel. Uh, for progress through, um... We'll do medical responder, because that's what they're wearing. Uh, so that's why we set goals for, um, uh, on games. Drawn on duty. Uh, so the goal is finish the goal, the game is done, right? Um, so usually we don't do a second playthrough, usually. Uh, unless, of course, there's, like, new content that gets released. But a good example of this would be, um, of when we did this was, uh, Banished. Because Banished is a game where, like, you can literally play that forever. There's, uh, there's a bunch of really strong mods. A bunch of really good mods for it. Uh, but what we did is we just did every single achievement, and once, oh my good gracious, look at all the bodies. Railroad agents, wow, this whole place got absolutely destroyed. Um, but once we've gone and defeated all of the uh, all of the achievements, we called the game it. Time to go uh, do the bed thing, have a great night. All right, take care, Dragonheart. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. We'll see you around. Do I have any overdue lists? I have three? Yes. Ten tokens. What are our options? Visitors, clean dog wool, clean dog wool, yard stick. Yeah, okay, nothing. Nothing we want. Hoping at some point to be something we want, but nope. Call of Duty has you hooked, and you have like three single player games you started. <laughs> nice. I mean, hey, but that's the thing is there are a lot of games out there that, you know, they just kind of connect with you. It's just a game that. They're a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun, and you just want to keep playing them. Uh, sometimes you envy people who are satisfied playing, like, FIFA or uh, something every day. 
Um, cause yeah, true, cause Jump for Strength in there is the, is the opposite problem, where you have, like, 300 games that you have never downloaded and played in your Steam library. I called it right there. And you never will. <laughs> because you're always like, oh man, there's nothing I want to play. And you look at your Steam library and you look through, like, the 300 or whatever games that are on that list that you have. And you're like, eh. Nah. There, there is that opposite problem too, where you don't get stuck in uh, with one game and you just nothing sounds good. Bob pins, elevator. Is this guy? Uh, but yeah, our goal is to eventually get through that whole list. And that whole list is going to be growing as time goes by as well. Not going to stay static. Uh, so, we'll see. Get this fan too. We can always use screws. Get some hidden buff out. Nice. Is there anything else for us to track down over here? I feel like I've looked through pretty much everything except this elevator. Which I'm just assuming goes downstairs. Is there a below? No, there isn't soft collapsed in. Anything I missed down here? No. Does the elevator come down here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so I guess we take the elevator. Chin gun. Alright, upstairs and we take the elevator. I don't where it's going to go, though. Let's see. Elevator, elevator. Where are we going? You can tell where we need to go because uh, in games, developers normally put big lights wherever you're supposed to go. I just didn't know this brought us from bottom floor to top floor. Oh, we can't go down. We can only go up with this. Imagine picking just one title and being like, yep, that's my game. I'd be, uh, it'd be so much easier and cheaper. Oh, yeah. Well, again, there's some games out there that just have such a strong modding community that, that, yeah. I mean, Skyrim's a really good example of that. Uh, or just Elder Scrolls games in general. Um, there are people out there that just get an absolutely like terrifying amount of time of like gameplay out of Bethesda games. Like, truly terrifying. Which are like, oh yeah, no, I played through that game once. Or, yeah, I played, I played through Skyrim twice. I've got like 200 hours in it or something. And then the first is like, two, only 200 hours? I've got 12,000 hours in that game. And you're like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I have 12,000 hours. Um... VRX has about 12,000 hours in Fall of War. Uh, I don't know who VRX is, but uh, yeah. I mean, there are people like that out there that are just uh, either they're like content creators or they just they are making, or there are mod makers. Mod makers run into the same problem too. Um, you legit have 1,000 hours of gameplay in New Vegas. There you go. New Vegas is a really good game. Can go through this? Not really. Okay. How do I go down? Looks like showed up. Looks like that's the way down. No door over anything here. What was that? They didn't break it. Oh, there's a door right here. Huh? Wilda. Oh, she's not in this room. Nice. Okay, that's it. Cut the shit. Who is that? Oh my goodness, couldn't hit him at all. <laughs> Brutal. It's okay, Deacon will get him first if he comes this way. Hey, who's there? Yeah, we're yelling at people through walls. Oh, hello. Yeah. 
we go. Got him. Switchblade, nothing else is useful. Definitely want all the glowing fungus we can possibly find now. We need it. It's pretty cool. Misters. Um, once you don't care about spoilers, you should watch them. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, it won't be until we finish this game, but yeah. It's always interesting. Is a streamer you're recommended uh, who just streams between Skyrim and Fallout 4 and you generally don't get it? I mean, yeah, there's some people that just really love that. I mean, um, uh, who is it? Deadpool? Um, the streamer Deadpool? Uh, he just, he only streams the Long Dark. <laughs> he only streams the Long Dark. Uh, when we first started streaming the Long Dark, I think three years ago was the first time we st uh, this channel had the Long Dark streamed on it. It was like, I think three years ago? Uh, he was streaming The Long Dark. And yesterday I saw he was streaming The Long Dark. He still streams The Long Dark. That's all he plays. That is the only game he plays. That is it. Doesn't play anything else. There are people out there that just have that. That's it. They found their game. They found what they want to do. That's that. Um, you got 2,000 in uh, Skyrim. Nice, nice. Is that... Uh, that's also a follow-up question I always have. Is, um, of all those hours that you have in that game... Uh, are you playing with mods? Or are you still playing vanilla? Because there's some people that only play vanilla. They don't play with mods. I mean, I'm I'm not necessarily the best example of it because this, this is only like my first playthrough through it, right? But there's some people that'll it'll be like their fourth playthrough. It's a brand new like you know combat build that they're playing with, but they still don't play with mods. Two thousand hours of gameplay vanilla. Wow. All right. There you go. Look at this place. Oh, <gasps> no! Heal! Run! Oh my goodness, our health, somehow we survived that. Oh my, that was close. Oh my, was that close. Holy moly. We need some dense armor? Okay, we need some better armor. Good. Golly, that was close. For some reason, it decided to boot up uh, Elder Scrolls Online. I've never played that game. Is it any good? I can't say I've heard good things. I've just, I've just heard. It's you know just another. Oh my hello. It's just another uh, you know, another style of uh, MMORPG. Oh. <gasps> Jeez, we need to be at full health before I put my head back around here. If I get hit by a missile, I die right now. We gotta wait till full health. <laughs> uh, it's mediocre in your opinion? Ah, okay. Well, you know, if we get the job done. Uh, for some reason... Oh, no, I already read that one. Um, let's see. Streamers often get uh, kind of stuck in one game because half their audience leaves if they try playing something else. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's very true. That's one of the things I really didn't want to deal with. Um... Which is why when I started streaming, I was like, "All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna play games. We're going through this list. Here's the list." Of course, the list wasn't public until this year, because um, you know I just forgot to actually put it all down, <laughs> to write it all down. Um, but yeah, uh, I totally get that because I know that's how it was when I like the first time I stopped playing Crusader Kings two, because we played uh, it was like Crusader Kings two exclusively for like like the first six months of my streaming. I think it was exclusively that. I know uh, McConnell ran into that. McConnell TV ran into that situation from uh, uh, EU4 because uh, he played like exclusively EU4 for a long time. All right, where's this person with the missile launcher? Is that her? I hope so. No, there she is. Sorted, hopefully. <laughs> Just the ominous barrel appearing over my shoulder. <laughs> Hopefully that missile launcher is the only one. This is just, uh... Look around. Take the missile. I'll take the launcher. It's worth a bunch of money. Squirrel bits. This is crazy. Railroad had this place? Well, it does look like there are some synth bodies here. It looks like this wasn't necessarily the Institute that attacked them, but rather just regular old-fashioned, no special, nothing special raiders. No? 
Looks like it was just kind of nothing special raiders. Oh wow, an actual decent bed. It's mine. It's mine. Okay. Um, if you've ever listened to the Masked Singer, uh, that's kind of the premise of the show. No, never listened to it. Um, singers who get stuck singing specific genres. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, I see. That makes sense. It's like the it kind of like being typecast um, for roles in movies and the like, where actors and actresses get like it's like you are always the bumbling uh, uncle. Like, that's your. That is your role. You don't get to play any other. Oh my goodness, jeez, we're gonna fall. You don't get to play any other role to try and like break out of that because that's got to be kind of obnoxious too. Looks like there used to be an elevator here. Uh, but yeah, so kind of like uh, breaking out of that stuff. But in that case, for singers, that makes sense. Being stuck in one role, I mean, some people would like it, but I'm sure most people like to be able to spread their wings a little bit here and there. If the institu uh, institute told the raiders where to go, I think that would make more sense, as the institute must have used the raiders to get the job done, because there's just not a lot of institute here. They're synths, but I think it's only railroad synths, because of how few and far between they are. Last update. Deacon admires you. Wait, have we already finished getting Deacon to like us? Deacon admires you. Is it, Does that mean that we've finished the, uh, the entire, like, getting him to like us? Have we already finished it? Or is that, like, a level above likes us doing something? And it's nothing special. We are under attack. Repeat, we are under... My God. Listen, Augusta's not gonna make it. They're gonna be here any second. They knew exactly where we were. Tell... That raider was just, like, slowly, quietly coming up alongside us while we were listening to that. That was pretty funny. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Get down. Some loot in there we want to go grab. Speak to him. Um, when you get his perk, you're done. Ah, that's right. We get perks. Legendary Raider. Wait, how did you... I guess this is just the way around? Because Deacon apparently teleported into the room. Nice. Alright, Deacon. We got fun time income. Done. And this gun does so much damage. Off his key. Bottle. And let's kind of finish this area here real quick. Oh. Assassin's leather chest piece reduces damage from humans. Uh, yeah, okay. The one we have right now, I think, has us do more damage to humans. Yeah, she goes. Bottles, because we can always use more bottles. just gives us more water like that okay perfect uh, I believe you can almost uh, every quest in we went I believe you can almost every quest in mag done without uh, making such hacking any advanced plus things wait really I guess that makes sense you don't want to like completely gate the the playthrough of it. Oh my goodness, we're actually over and covered. Amazing. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna drop the uh, missiles. Don't need to carry it. We get some money off of it, but it's not enough to be worth it. Um, but I guess it makes it so you're not get, like it's not like required for you to go and get the. Like, oh, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying our game, but you need to go and find someone to level up off of so you can go and get three levels in lockpicking because you can't lockpick this. That makes sense to not have that, you know, 
negate them out of uh, success. I can see having it like where it's required to at least have one level in lockpicking, one level in hacking, but more than that, it could be dangerous for enjoyment levels. Especially if you want to play a character that's uh, not, the sp not the greatest tool in the shed, you know? Which sometimes is fun to do. Make it challenging. Jets. And it's mint hats. Uh, so you can get them, but you'll need to have companions with the relative skills to do it for you. Oh, okay, I see. So you just get um, you just get your companions to do it. Interesting. Well, that's good. It means they can still leave the difficulty up there. How do we get down from here without jumping? I feel like jumping is technically not what I'm supposed to do, but also looks like what I'm supposed to do. I feel like jumping is not what I'm supposed to do. Definitely feels like it. Much easier to find your way back if you jump down. Yeah. I still don't want to miss any loot. I don't think it will, though. So we're just going to jump down. Hello? Ho! Alright. Sorted. Don't worry, we've got an OP gun. Is a surprise down there? Don't you worry. When in doubt, the kneecapper solves all our problems. This thing does an absolutely ridiculous amount of damage. And stunlocks the enemy. It's not one thing this bad boy can't take down. Although there was a, um, it wasn't a basic death claw like this guy, right? Hey, Ryan, welcome. Welcome, welcome. It wasn't a basic death claw like this. It was like an albino death claw or something. It was like a irradiated death claw, or I don't remember what it was, but it was like a, it was a stronger, more durable version of the death claw. And that was terrifying, because I just sat there and I just pumped, I think, a clip and a half into their head with the kneecapper. They were stun locked, but we still pumped like a clip and a half into them. I loot this guy. Oh, you can walk in here and loot him. Rad stag hide outfit. It's going well. We're doing a little bit of uh, railroad questing right now. Bit of exploring. Hit the button. Insufficient power. Okay. Let me guess. I have to take the fusion core that I just took and slap it in here. No. Honestly, I think that would have been cool. Though it could have been a uh, a fail case if someone had power armor. Radiation is actually pretty bad. The radiation is pretty, pretty bad. Let's go ahead and get that sorted. Two rat accidents. Drop that missile launcher. Let's go ahead and look through. Kiri already. Yeah, it's true. But, you know, as soon as we get uh, good old Deacon uh, happy with this, we'll talk with him shortly. We just want to kind of finish the zone here. Um, but once we get him happy with us, we can go and swap over. Uh, wait, does Reddick stack And this one? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's really good. So you can, as long as you have water, uh, you can just down a whole ridiculous amount of uh, Radix. Since it stacks. Latch. I do like that you actually have to interact with the individual latches. That's pretty cool. Where are we? Let's try this at the hospital. Okay. Alright, we did the thing. Nice. 
where are we? We are here. I go down here, or I can run back up to Starlight. Uh, let's see, where are we at with you? Because we might drop... Jeez, when he just changes his outfit out of nowhere. Oh, hello. Come on, Bloodfly, stop it. What the... Gross. Yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna wipe the blood off of this. It's disgusting. Wow. Um, he's a raider now? Yeah. Well, now he's a doctor. And now he's a, uh, a caravan guy? And now he's in his deacon outfit. <laughs> and now he's... Back over here. Come on, deacon. Come on. No, not gonna change. All right. Anyway, talk to him about uh, what's what. What is it? Who just whistled at him? Crazy. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Sturgis, that's exactly right. Hey. We've been making the rounds, doing the job. It's time you learn the big secret. All Everyone right. Everyone thinks that Desdemona is the big boss. She calls the ops, gives the rah rah speeches, but it's just an act. Oh. She does what I tell her to because the railroad. It's my show. Wait, what? It's been that way since I founded it. Whoa, okay. You? You founded the railroad? Sure. Me and Johnny D and Watts. Hell, that was over 60, 70 years ago. Whoa. After a while, you lose count. I tell everyone I get the occasional face change to stay anonymous. Truth is, it takes a lot of work to keep this mug handsome. We've come a long way since the beginning. We've done a lot of good, saved a lot of synths. But we're about more than that. We are the last and only line of defense between the Institute and the Commonwealth. Hell, maybe even the world. That's crazy. <laughs> now you're lying? Maybe. That's crazy, though. Hook me up? What? I don't know exactly what means for that one. Hey, Captain Caveman, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. And Ryan Zek, a welcome as well. Good to have you here, you too. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, I hope they made another follow up game uh, that is as good or better than this one. Oh yeah, I'm sure they will. They they, uh, they make too much money. <laughs> they make run. They make too much money. They will definitely make another one. Um, but due to the rocky reception of the last few games from Bethesda, they're really gonna have to. Uh, it better be as good, if not better. <laughs> it better be. This wouldn't this now game come out again? This game's like six years old stairs. or something. So it's gonna need to be better than this one because of the number of years. Uh, defending, go on, hook me up. Yeah, go on. Go on. People think our missions are all about synths, but there's more going on. We are building a better, brighter Commonwealth. The railroad really is the best, noblest organization that's ever lived. We're, 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 <laughs> uh, I can't keep up with this bullshit. <laughs> what is he doing? Is he just lying to us? Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Uh, the Super Good Noodle, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Good to have you here. Welcome, welcome. Uh, can't wait for the TV show. Oh no, Captain Caveman, please no. Is there actually is there actually plans for a Fallout TV show? I actually really hope there isn't. Because I honestly I like think it's going to go so poorly. silences like this with my poetic musings. Uh, you heard the new one might be in New York? Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, you hope the show's good. Oh no, it'd be hilarious if it crashes once per episode. <laughs> Get the actual show crashed once per episode? That would be funny. That would be funny. Oh, you missed the speech check? Um, Formula, we haven't done any speech checks yet. Yes, there's a TV show being made by Amazon. I can't believe it. That's not good. It's gonna go so poorly. Not just plans, they're filming it. It's gonna go so poorly. It they better have it be like full satire mode. Like if they're being serious, it's gonna be bad. Like they need to keep the drama to a minimum and just have it be like hardcore satire. Seriously. Uh those important to have either hazmat suit or redactive like best uh, like control this during the solar users. power and ghoulish. Both of me rads. Oh, that makes sense. Oh my goodness. All right, anyway, why lie? You're crazy. Never dull. Yeah, never dull moment. Wait, what? Why? Why the hell are you lying to me? 
Again. Because it's what I do. And there's a point to this, a lesson, if you will. Yeah. There's other organizations out there, and in time, I'm sure they're going to spoon feed you their own patented form of bullshit. Ignore the verbiage and look at what they're doing, what they're asking you to do, what sort of world they'd have you build, and how they're going to pay for it. That makes sense. A railroad's deal, Deacon's uh, assessment. Yeah. So, what do you think of the other groups out there? Love the job you're doing with the Minutemen. Historically, they've been little better than policemen, though. The Brotherhood. Well, I met them on an op in Capital Wasteland a few years back. But now with Elder Maxim, let's just say, not a fan. And the Institute? Well, do I really need to answer that? But what I think doesn't matter. The real question is, what do you think? And at the end of the day, you'll need to make a choice. Make it the right one. All right. Cool. Oh. Hey. Sure. I can help you out. Oh, man. You should let me talk to you. Seriously. Uh, Zetter, if you look up the definition of uh, chronic liar in the dictionary, you'll see a picture of Deacon as the explanation. Yeah, it feels like it, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I hope there's a plot line uh, about someone's power armor failing, uh, falling through the ground. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Right, or um, someone who's like gets their foot stuck in the floor. <laughs> Something ridiculous. <clears throat> you know, I'm having second thoughts on the whole recall code. Wait, you read it, didn't you? Um, yes. Dismiss. Why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I read it? Just in case it gets stuck in your head. You know, like if I say Rad Roach. Now, don't think of Rad Roach. See. You thought of it. And if it's a real simple code, then one slip and uh, goodbye, Deacon. Anyway, only read it if you have to. I don't plan to. You're fine, Deacon. Don't worry. Hey, tell me. Well, I might make want. you a straight shooter instead of lying all the time. You never know. Excuse me. You know, I'm having second thoughts on the oh, whole nothing new. code. Um. Why shouldn't I? Just in case it gets stuck in your head. Yeah. You know, like if I say rat, and if it's a skip that, just heard it. Hey. You called? Uh, if it's just Hi. normal talk. You know, I'm having yeah, second okay. thoughts. I want to see if we can talk about our relationship, but nope, doesn't want to talk about it. It's a touchy subject. I get it. Man, I'm already running low on food again. Uh, let's head back home then. Let's go and offload. We've got a bunch of stuff we need to sell, so let's go offload some stuff. Then uh, let's onload some more aid. Run a little low on it. Get that done. Um, the leaks from the show look good. Really? That's great news. I mean, it's very rare for video games to be ported over well to a to a show. It's it's very rare for that to happen. Uh, they should put Henry Cavill in the show. I mean, I don't know if he's a, as much of a fan of Fallout as he was of or is of the Witcher franchise. Um, they walk by a car and it crashes them. Yeah, this, they, you walk by an inan like an inanimate, non-moving car. Don't mean to make you nervous. And it uh, it flies into the protagonist, and the the screen goes black as it crashes. Right. How did you get up? Oh, that's awkward. How'd you get upstairs? But yeah. It's time honored. Why would I not do the looting? It's, 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 in, the, it's in the title. It's it's honored. It's an honorable act. Must be done. The code was a lie also. Maybe. I mean we weren't told what the actual code was, so I don't I don't actually know what the actual code is to reset him. That would be interesting. Uh, we don't actually know what the code itself is. The Fallout TV show is going to be based on Fallout 1. Oh, okay. I've not played Fallout 1. I've watched some content of Fallout 1 way back in the day. Um, when Back when YouTube was yet yet still a young baby for the uh, for all the gaming content. Uh, so I really haven't seen much on that, so I'm not sure. 
like it, uh, don't say what you're going to do. Yeah, redacted because it gives the best redacted to the game. It's exactly right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep it nice and redacted or put in like dot, dot, dots or something just so that uh, it ends up being a surprise for me. Welcome back, awesome cats. How are you doing today? I think you should have an item in your inventory for the code. Ah, okay. I can read that later. Uh, Henry is making some Warhammer 40k show, apparently. Wait, what? That's awesome. Really happy for this huge nerd. That's, oh man, imagine, that's gotta be so cool. You just, like, really love something, um, like, literature or game or something like that, and then you get to actually be, like, one of the main driving forces for pushing the culture into mainstream. I think that's pretty sick. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. If you're just like, I absolutely love this whatever. And I want other people to enjoy it as much as I do. And you get to be a huge driving force to getting it there. That's got to be such a cool feeling. Fuck that bad boy off. We didn't get any special guns or anything right now. We just have explosives and we can deal with them. Uh, what time of day is it? It's 2 a.m. We're going to have to sleep so we can actually sell stuff. Got to offload this weight. Oh, my goodness. That person's still sleeping there. At least this bed isn't taken. Oh my goodness, I can't get around all my power armor. <laughs> so, so much power armor. Go ahead and sleep our eight. Our flips and kills them. Uh, what boar never changes until now. <laughs> uh, that's exactly right. Bethesda, Bethesda never changes. <laughs> Game instantly crashes. All right. All that radiation. Go ahead and get some food in this in a minute here. We can at least go ahead and sell. <clears throat> I'm sure I've got some. Time to lighten our load. I've got a few minutes to browse. Great. You're just disappointed in general with a lot of the TV shows based on games and books lately. Yeah, it's so hard for them to do it. Um, I'll explain in a second. Uh, really hope. Uh, they up their game and make it less about cash grab and more about quality. Um, Fallout's one of your favorite series. Uh, you're going to be super critical about the show. Yeah, so the so here's the thing. Oh, you think the Fallout show is about a new storyline? That's probably the smartest way to go, is actually just have it be a new storyline. Just have it disconnected. Uh, so here's the thing. And here's, the, here's like the general problem. Oh my goodness, we had a combat sniper rifle? I don't know when I picked that up. I definitely did not need to be carrying that. So here's the problem with um, movies like or TV shows and movies adapting games and books and the real issues that they have and why it's a real problem and why they don't work well. It's because, it's strictly because, it's exclusively because the producer, the, the, the showrunners, the people that are in charge, all in the shots, deciding how everything's going to be done, figuring out the final work of the, like, the storyboard and everything. They are either not fans of the genre, they just they do not care about the whatever the thing is they're working on, right? They, like, they personally have zero stake in it. Oh my good gracious, look at all the Brahmin. Or, yeah. or, they're specifically trying to make a name for themselves and thus are happy to go and change things that are established. It's like uh, a really good... It, oh, no, don't, don't do that. That's bad. Don't do that. Don't don't take all the things. We don't want to take all the things. That's bad. Um, you should post here. Uh, a really good example of this uh, is like the... Um, the Aragon movie. I think it's a really good example. Um, because... Like, the climactic final fight in the film isn't even close to how the fight was in the books. Not even, not even remotely similar. Right? Archive Misk? Oh, yeah, I should Archive Misk. I don't want to, though, but I should. You're right. And it's it's whenever that stuff happens, you just lose... Because the thing is, like, you make a movie based on a book or a game, or a TV show based on a book or a game, hopefully bringing in the audience that already loves that content. Don't go to the content, step on it, say, your content is fine, but I can make it way better, and then go make something different. That's not what we want. How many times do people watch a TV show and are like, oh, 
I want to watch the exact same thing again, but slightly different. And so all of like, your your like absolute favorite TV show is essentially the same as like three other TV shows you also watch, right? You watch one TV show, it they have like a specific story arc, and you're like, I want that again, but just different enough that it feels like I'm watching it for the first time. We all want that. Or books, or whatever it is. We all want that. Halo show was not it. That's I've not watched the Halo show. I don't want to watch it. <laughs> I, I know I I know enough to know that I do not ever want to watch it. I like the Halo franchise. I haven't played since. I haven't played any of the games since Halo Five. Um, four? Halo Four. I haven't I haven't played any of the games since Halo Four. But like I I do not want to. I don't want to do it. I know I'm not gonna like it. Oh, we need to go pick up whiskey. Let's go grab some whiskey real quick. It's just like, just get get a super extreme nerd who loves whatever the content is to be in charge of putting the film together, and then just have a committee to try and clean it up a little bit. Uh, Kiri, excuse me, can I get through? Thank you. You know, that's like all you gotta do. Everything hurts. Hi. That's all you gotta do. Easy. Uh, the only game TV shows and movies uh, you like was Tomb Raider, the newest one, Assassin's Creed, and The Witcher. Wait, there's an Assassin's Creed TV show or movie? I did not know that. Sure. I've not paid attention to Assassin's Creed for in an age. Uh, the last Assassin's Creed game I played was Revelations, so it's been a long time. Apparently, uh, showrunners have been literally have been literally and self admittedly hostile to the original story. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I, Alistair said so, like that's the, that's the problem. Like. Just stop it. Just do, read read the comics, read the books, play the games, whatever it is, and then just do the story justice, or just make it in entirely tangential. Don't don't involve any of the main characters. Don't involve any of the main plot lines. Just do something in that world, in that universe, right? And maybe name drop some stuff here and there. Sure, right. Just just do that. Just just do that, and then sure, you can go make your own whatever you want. To. You don't sell whiskey. I can't believe it. Go do whatever the thing is you wanted to do, right? But don't do not do that to dark stuff. Come on. Yes, it's an Assassin's Creed movie with the guy who played Magneto. Uh, the new Magneto or, or the old Magneto? I'll take a look. Sure. Interesting. Was it any good? Was it any good? Um, Assassin's Creed with Michael uh, Fassbender in the main role. Just like the games, uh, you like the historical stuff, but the modern storyline was really controversial yet boring. Or sorry, uh, convoluted yet boring. Yeah, you gotta be careful with convoluted storylines. You gotta be very careful with convoluted storylines. It's really easy to just lose people's interest. It's really easy to do that. Uh, you don't see how Fallout TV show would work. Fallout is such a do-whatever-you-want type of game. Yeah, which is why I think, really, if it's just like, it's in the Fallout universe. We're over in Texas, right? Like, an area that hasn't been explored in any of the stuff yet, right? I think that would probably be the best way to go. Just plop the, plop the story down in a place. It's Fallout. There's a Brotherhood of Steel's there. You know, you got Caesar's Legions over there. You know, eh, whatever. Something like that. Done, right? And then go make your plotline story for some guy trying to make a settlement. Right? Done. It's, you know, just, just do that. Easy peasy. I think that'd be the way to go. Let me get food. Not done here. Um, it can have multiple characters with different perks. Yeah, no, they could do that. That would work. That would work. Having, like, different main characters. I mean, you can definitely do that. I really need to go and sort out better food. Don't I? The fed. I'm not going to eat the rad stag. Raw meats. I have to cook that. I might put on the hot bar. I actually just need to cook some stuff first, I guess. Let's just put the... 
don't have dog chops or anything. Okay. I kind of want to save the hound chops, but I really shouldn't be saving them. So go ahead and we'll nap those there. Get ourselves fully healed. Um, what about a story that follows uh, Harkness after the uh, Replication Man? I don't know anything about that, but go for it. <laughs> I don't know. I I'm assuming that's for, um, for a story about Steve the Rad Roach. <laughs> that would be interesting. A guy that devolved into a Rad Roach. Turns out all Rad Roaches are actually humans, not roaches like we always thought. That would be mental. That'd be crazy. The one thing to think uh, this is good, but I could do better, uh, and a very difficult, uh, different thing. Yeah, it, yeah, it's one thing to think this is good, but I can do better, and a very different thing to think how much can I change despite the fans of the original, or rather, how much can I change to make a name for myself, having it stand out from the original? Because it, you know, they're not doing it despite the fans intentionally. But they have a motive to, you know, make a name for themselves so that then they can produce more stuff and get paid more. You know, like, no normal reasons for doing that. But, um, it's just, don't do that with, like, beloved, like, very rich, pre-built worlds. Don't do that. <laughs> You're just gonna piss people off. And Deacon is amazing. He just keeps changing his outfits. It's kind of nuts. I wonder how heavy his pack would have to be to have all the equipment. No, no, uh, there are showrunners that are direct- wait, that have directly stated that they're changing things out of spite? Wait, seriously? You should never go public with that if that's what you're actually gonna do. You should never go public with that. That sounds like a horrible idea. Ugh. Why would anyone ever go public with that? That sounds really bad. There's some good YouTube miniseries, uh, based on Fallout, but they're fan-made. Well, but that's the thing. They're good. Because they were fan made, like <laughs> that, it, it's not a, it's it's not a, uh, it's not a correlation. It's a causation. Like it is, is it, it, it is because they're fans. Like we know it. It is because they're fans. You had to dodge rad roaches to escape Vault One Hundred One as a baby. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know. Uh, that's a new director of Star Wars, uh, you just like to say <laughs> to hell with Star Wars and everyone who likes it. I mean, you know, as long as you produce something good, that's all we care about. But yeah, I mean, I just, I just would like to see people that are huge fans of whatever franchise they're working on do that. Otherwise, make up your own story. Right? Like, if, if you... If you don't care about the content that has already been made in the genre that you're playing in, make something up yourself. Do it on your own. Do it on your own. Sit down, make a brand new story from scratch. Don't just flip through a, a wiki page and say, yep, nah, I figured it out. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and end it here, guys. I've got I've got such a strong opinion on this because I'm like I mean we all I think we all have the same kind of opinion of stop messing with our stuff that we love. <laughs> it just makes us so grumpy. At least makes me grumpy. You shall shove all the stuff into the railroad uh in the railroad desk. Yeah, and I'll have to drop some stuff off. At least in Star Trek, you blame uh the Q. If anything doesn't make sense, true, true. It's all Q's fault, honestly. Yeah. Very true. Oh, man. Uh, you hate subverting expectations, uh, especially when people change their show just because fans figured out where the story is going. Oh, I really hate that. The fans figured out where the story is going. Just make this... Just just do the thing. Just because they know what's going to happen doesn't mean they know exactly how it's going to occur. So you can still do... You can still do it, and people will still enjoy it. Right? We still go and watch an action film, even though we know the action... We know what's going to happen in an action film. Someone's going to get kidnapped, or someone's going to get bribed, or someone's going to get killed, and we have to do re a revenge thing. We still watch the action film. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Uh, the only one you remember is someone who stated that his way of dealing with fans of the original story, uh, who are outraged with the terrible changes he's already made is to make their favorite characters oh my goodness just mess with their favorite characters that's that's just messed up you made a story that has a logical progressive 
progression. Congratulations, good job. Why change it? Yeah, exactly. Like, we know it's supposed to end this way because it makes sense to end this way. Don't mess with it. But, 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 Zaldor, I can't do that. I need to have a, uh... <laughs> I need to have a potential to, uh, milk money from millions of fans. Otherwise, no one will ever give me money to make a movie. I mean, true, that is a thing. But if you make, a like, a, a cult classic, people will still pay you to make the thing. You won't get paid as much, and that's the main problem. Anyway, but I need to end, I need to end it here. I need to go to bed. I need to go to bed. I, I love this conversation because I've got such strong opinions on this. I don't have a lot of strong opinions about a lot of things, to be honest. Uh, but this is something I'm like, listen, we know how to do it right. It's been done right a few times. Why don't you just learn from people that did it right? <laughs> it can't be that hard. <laughs> All right, let's go see if we can find someone to raid. Who can we go ahead and raid? Who can we go ahead and raid? Who's clearly not as far as we are in this game? Who is clearly not as far as we are in this game? Um, and it's so tough to tell. It's always tough to tell. Uh, we also need them in English. Oh my goodness, there's very few English uh, streams going on. Crazy. It's good to see. We'll just uh, scroll a little further down. Um, well, let's go ahead and give Bari Boy a raid. Let's give them a shot. Let's see if we can raid them. They're a very small streamer. Um, looks like I think we can raid them. They're a very small streamer, so let's jump in there and give them some support. I will not be able to hang out long because I've been up too late. <laughs> I need to... I need to go to bed. I need to go to bed. But thanks for stopping by and saying hi, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with this uh, rambly conversation, for sure. And I would love to pick it up again. Uh, yeah, I, I just I, I love this conversation. The thing is, what we talk about isn't going to change anything, though. <laughs> That's the problem. It's just not like anyone who's uh, no one's going to be taking our advice to heart. But, yeah, it's kind of nice to complain about it here and there. Uh, but thanks for hanging out, everyone. I will see you all tomorrow for Elden Ring. We'll be playing Elden Ring tomorrow uh, and the day afterwards. And then next week, Monday, Tuesday, we'll be back at playing Fallout 4. But tomorrow is Elden Ring. Have a good morning, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>